You forgot Honkai Star Rail today? I forgot Honkai Star Rail today. Hello! Jakey, hello, hello, hello. You are first. Hi. Uh, As Asfitter. Hello, hello, hello. Deity, howdy, hey. Uh, there's the codes. They're they're all updated. I will I will test them again just to just to make sure. But I believe all those codes should be active unless things have changed. Crunchy, hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Cloud, hi. Hello, Deity. What is up with this good morning? It is three twenty-five p.m. Carnival and gift expired. Really? Hold on. Yeah, no, that that was from like two days ago. <laughs> I, I did that like two days ago. New quest today. I will be doing the new story. Uh, so if anyone doesn't want to see 2.2 story. Probably not best to be here. But don't worry. We aren't going to be starting off with that immediately. I do think I have a 10 pull. I do think I have a 10 pull. So we're going we're gonna to be starting off with the 10 pull. And then going from there. I would also just like to say. I have a little bit of a troublemaker in the room with me right now the good old demon herself luna she used to be such a sweetheart and now i just kind of call her my sleep paralysis demon because she likes to attack me in my sleep so she's now my sleep paralysis demon but a demon regardless honk i please just let me in Also, I do have drops on. The drops should be on, are they not? Because if not, that's awkward. Because I know they have drops. Okay. It didn't tell me they were on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move over. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, see, normally it also gives me the notification that they're on. Uh, and it didn't. That's why I'm like, oh. I hope they're on. Didi, I trust you. I do. <laughs> but I'm I'm still doing it myself. Okay. And da, 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 da. Okay. We are updating the codes yet again. My fault. My fault. My bad. Ugh, my nose. There we go. New pin. <laughs> Uh, okay, it gave me the notification now saying drops are on. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. And then we're gonna go over here. Boom. Of course, more batteries. Uh more of these things and more of these and then one xp 
Do you do song requests? Um, when it comes to song requests, you can go ahead and post them in the uh, Discord. There is a specific channel in the Discord server for music. It's called Dracu Theater. And you can post songs in there, and I listen to them, and if I like them, they go in the playlist. Uh, the only thing that... Uh, kinda causes issues with that is, um... Ow. Thank you for the hydrate, Jesus. Is It has to be on Spotify. If it's not on Spotify, it won't be in the playlist, but the song you send doesn't have to be a spotify link it's just the song itself has to be on spotify you know you know you know what i'm saying okay we're gonna start off with a 10 pool oh it tells you who uses your support yeah yes i'm pulling i'm pulling for robin i'm pulling for robin here we go 10 pull I got that streamer luck, baby. You will get her? I know I'll get her. Not this 10 pull, maybe like another. Give me like one more 10 pull, I got her. Don't worry. I have high pity. I have high pity. I'm gonna get Robin, guys. Trust. Trust, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. J just give me a little bit. We're gonna do the story. I just, I need to do a few little things. Before, like, going into... Uh... What? <laughs> I'm Mr. Pancake. I get that, but what... What are you on about? Okay, trial time. Oops, I didn't mean to skip the song, but oh well. Look at her! She's so pretty! <laughs> she's so pretty! The song request in Discord? It's literally not in my Discord server. <laughs> there, there, it's literally, like, I don't, I don't know where you put it, because it's not there. It is, it is not anywhere. In, in the in the server I hear some you can't swap yeah Let the show begin. dangerous spots oh my goodness ah oh, look at her she's like an angel <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I want. I I so I know like Robin as a character, but like I haven't actually seen the abilities themselves. Like ah, there's oh. My Oh, she's so pretty. Let me through. Dodge this. Take this. Surprise, Phoenix. Smirk and urchin. I'm good. I'm good. Time to twirl. Hey. Time to twirl. This big diamond. It's all yours. Time to twirl. I want everyone and it's too hard to pick so I just don't I just don't pick um until I hear whoa whoa's making a comeback do, do we know do we know yet I I check in with you guys every single patch because you guys know what's happening in the future are we going to be getting whoa whoa soon God, I want the iPad so badly, though. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Look at uh. <laughs> Liquidation. Oh. Oh. Who My turn. Thank you for the hydrate. Yes, yes, water, water. A thousand wonders to rate minus one. <laughs> no manners, huh? <laughs> the market is on right. Oh, I want thigh pass. Is ordained by the stars. I want thigh pass. Told you I could fight. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Confiscated. Might as well get all of these out of the way as well. Fuck okay, it, right? Like we're already we're already here. Oops. Move carefully. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Because she is a dragon. Rules are made to be broken. The, the most valid thing ever. Such a valid excuse. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! I just... I'm just trying to get... These things out of the way. I wanted to do the Robin showcase on stream. To like... I don't know, in case anyone hasn't seen it yet. And I have a Looney Tune on my desk. She hates me. I don't know why she came in my room. Because, like, she doesn't want me to love on her. She just wants to be in, like, the same space as me, I guess, to, like, torment me. The 
Uh, whenever I go through this story, I always have the music on. The truth of life is sexual. It's but a vision. This is our chance. Yeah. I've no interest in this is serious. I shall be the judge. Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. I just don't know how we saw this. Like, I, I don't know how we saw her disappear into bubbles and now we're like here. Um, but like, whatever. Smell of sin. Recount. Oh. The ten lords. The ten lords decree hereby ordain. God, they're everyone's so hot, man. It's honestly not even fair. It's not even fair. They're all so hot. That's better. I will remember your. Do you admit this crime? By the order of the Ten Lord, execute the Marastruck! No amnesty for the Marastruck! Still in denial? I shall be the judge. You could have surrendered. <laughs> Recount. Branya thighs for the win? No! I don't th You can't do better than thigh pads. You really can't. Like, thigh pads just has, like, the p most perfect, like, lower half ever in terms of, like, thigh and butt ratio. Like, there, there's no... There's no doing better than that. I got more stickers that I don't really care about placing anymore. I just want this stuff. Looney, no, no, no. This bitch had her paw on my power button. I was about to throw hands, I swear. I've had enough of my cat turning off my computer. Looney, what are you doing now? Oh, stop eating the pop rock! Now stop breaking my things. Okay, let's see. Dailies. See, now you're meowing. What's up? Do you want out? Like, I don't know. I, I don't speak cat. 
I tried to open my door for you and you're not- Do you want loving? No, you don't want my loving. You want loving from the glass Tupperware. I don't know, guys. She's stressing me out. <laughs> Cats are hard. Oh shit, I finished... Kafka? My black swan, my gnat? And my Pella? All right. Um, I will. I will go here to get these things. Okay, Loon. We're back on this. One out. One out. I need to pick. I can't keep getting up and down and up and down. Okay, guys, hold on. And uh, now she's knocking more stuff over. Okay, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm back. Sorry, I had to deal with the cat I like to call my daughter. Um, cool, anyway. Uh, Anfield, by the way, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. You can't kill me. I'm okay. Later, moonlight. Nap time. Relax. In the lunar flame. Uh? <sighs> that hurts. Time.
time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest. Nap time. Relax. <laughs> Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Stand still. When Kafka goes boom. Bye. Facts. Hello, Sepulch, by the way. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Ill fate descends. Try harder. I, I'm doing my dailies, by the way, to anyone new coming in. Uh, doing my dailies, and then... What, 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 what do you call it? Uh, doing the story. <laughs> Relax. Nap time. Uh? Mind your manners. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Blade of moonlight. In lunar flame. Ooh. Ace, you're not new. Say bye. Beatty, you're also Boom. not new. Ill fate descends. I don't I don't think so. I don't think that's how new works. Blade of moonlight. But we got drops on. We got drops. We got uh, codes as well. Use the codes. They're new codes if you haven't used them yet. Mm -hmm. Echo with the 11 months. That's almost a year. In 21 days? You're almost at an actual year. Like... Like actual, actual. Time to say bye. Boom. Nap time. That's better. Blade of Moonlight. In lunar flame. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, relax. <laughs> Not bad. Me half trying to avoid Hongai spoilers. You're all good. You're all good, anime fan. Stand still. 
Um, if it if it helps at all, uh, I know I can't really um, stop people from talking about things in chat as they happen. Uh, but for, for for a good bit, anime fan, I'm not actually going to be. Um, what's it called? Do, doing the story. I'm just kind of going through my dailies right now, uh, and then I'm gonna move over to doing doing the new story. Um, so yeah, you're, you're, you're free to chill here until I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. And then, uh, when it comes to me starting the story, I will, I will say, I will announce, hey, I'm starting the story now. So the people who don't want that can kindly, you know, lurk or leave or do whatever. Uh, and as for the mods, if any of my mods don't want to see the new story, um, again, can't really stop chat from talking about things, but you can, you can pop out chat and, like, mute the stream. So you don't have to, like, <laughs> see what's happening or, or hear, but you can still, like, keep an eye on chat and stuff, you know? So just the thought, maybe? I don't know. Barry's the most dedicated Natasha lover I know. I- I don't have- whoa, whoa! Give me whoa, whoa, and I'll never use my gnat again. Uh, we're gonna back out of this. Claim those. Get my rewards. Um, and then we're gonna go over to my Acheron. See what's going on over here. Can I do any of these? Okay. I got, like, the base traces done. Now I just have to work on, like, these ones. Just, like, leveling them up. Which, that's, that's fine. That's, that's great. How many did I need? Four? I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna need a fuck ton of batteries. And then I just need to keep... Keep running. Keep running it, man. No, wait, hold on. We haven't gone to the shop. We haven't gone to the shop yet. Uh, do I have any base bolts? No, but that's okay. Because we, we have six. We have six pulls at the moment, so... In... When I, when I get that next ten... Ten more going to Robin. I'm not sure. I've done ten pulls on Robin, but I also did like 60 on Adventuring and did not get them. I don't have a guarantee. I know that. Time to say bye. Boom. I did like 60 pulls on Adventuring. I did ten on... Robin, so I'm just doing the 10. I'm, we're waiting till the 10. I don't care. In lunar flame. <laughs> I'm okay. Or 
I could just do the ten pull. That's <laughs> I could just do the ten pull. It's okay. Stand still. I don't believe in one pulling. It's 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 lame. It's lame. I I, I have to do the the streamer technique. Time to say bye. Boom. No one goes to a pool stream for one pools. Blade of moonlight. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with one pulls. I'm just saying in terms of streaming content, ten pulls just look better. So that's what I will do. Not bad. Time to say bye. Boom. Hmm. <laughs> Stand still. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Did you get your free five star off of the story banner? What do you mean? After 300 pulls? I for- I don't know. I have not a single clue, deity. I will, ap after this run. <laughs> well, we'll- we'll do that after this run. Time to say bye. Boom. Blade of moonlight. Boom, 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 boom. Try harder. Nap time. Stand still. In lunar flame. I just want the dailies to be over. I want to see the new story. Relax. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. But story or not, I still need to do the dailies. You can't kill me. Time to say bye. Boom. Like I need to do the dailies to do better things with my even though like my base team set up uh, I do want my Acheron built, so I can start building my Acheron team. I really want to start building my Acheron team. I have Jinglia. I just don't have her built. Time to say bye. Boom. That's better. She's not built! And I I like to use Miyuki's Jing Liu as a way to support my mods. Because uh, I'm broke and I don't pay my mods. It's like volunteer work. <laughs> And I, my mods are great. I love my mods, so I do it. It's not that I don't know how to build my Jing Liu. I've just been so busy putting things into my base team because for like the entire year I was playing this game, I didn't build 
any of my characters and so when it came around to Penacony, i really had to start building them because i wasn't able to do any of this story so i had to put a lot of time and effort into actually building my kafka and my black swan and i don't have well, well, or ron may but you know like I, I had to come up with a team that was good and get them built so i could consistently use them everywhere before starting to build more teams and so yeah i'm technically i honestly might even have the other what the fuck is that do i have the other one i do It's technically not about the gear, okay? It's about the traces and actually getting her leveled. But again, I really want to focus on my Acheron at the moment. Because I do have her as a support character. She's kind of like, you know, one of, one of the new hype characters at the moment. So I really want to put, you know, some focus into, into my Acheron. Okay, what's this banner thing you guys are on about? Bitch, I'm not even at 300 pulls. <laughs> I'm not- I'm at 201. Come on now, who do you think I am? Like who? <laughs> Come on now. Berry moment? I just- I, I- I don't know. I don't know. I've already made all of these. Why am I doing that again? Okay, we're gonna- Ow, ow! Okay! Abuse, man, abuse. I hydrate. Hold on, I hydrate. Boom, hydrate. I start the auto thing. And then I, I posture check. Hold on. I was, in fact, curled up like a fucking shrimp. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was, in fact. Knee, knees to chest, bent over. I was not sitting up straight at all. I did need that posture check. I... I, do, I have the worst posture. I really want to work on it. I feel like having a better posture would make streaming better <laughs> I, I like to slouch and curl up in my chair not bent over like that weirdo like like slouched over like i'm not up straight like i'm a fucking shrimp time to say bye i end up laying in my chair like an eel <laughs> honestly if i went to a chiropractor and then they were like you know you don't have scoliosis but from how much you like slouch in your chair you have like a curve in your spine i'd believe it <laughs> Because I, I, I have that gamer lean. I really do. I I really fall into the gamer lean, especially if I'm like... Mind your manners. <laughs> Mercy skull. Time to say bye. Boom. Try 
I, I just, I don't know. Like, if I'm really, like, getting invested into, like, a game, or, like, I'm really having to, like, focus and it's something more like a shooter. Oh, yeah. I am, I am... Fucking... Bent. I'm telling you, it makes me play better, though. <laughs> Stand still. Exactly. <laughs> it's I, 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 I can't even move my chair closer to my desk either because of like how I could. OK, no. See, this is just me being crazy. I like. Just a little something. So my 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 chair meets right up with the top of like my desk. So they're like even. But if my chair isn't like that, I get like T-Rex arms with my desk if I like lower my chair. Relax. But then if I raise my chair, and then I'm not even with my monitors and I don't have like a, uh, like a monitor stand thing to like raise them. I do, my, my main monitor slides up and down like it has like a, a a movement thing but what i hate the most is my monitor on the left it doesn't it, it it's just very low it also bothers me that they're not the same size because my main monitor that I use is like 27 inches and then the other one's like smaller than that and I I don't know it like it bugs me in, in, in some kind of it, it gives me the ick. I don't like having to like look over and down to see my other monitor, but I do. <laughs> like my other monitor is just so perfectly like even with my like like if I'm looking straight, it's like perfect. I don't know. And then if I lower my fucking chair, then I d I don't like it. <laughs> That's better. Huh. Uh. Stand still. I'm not four eleven. I'm not. Blade of moonlight. Nap time. Relax. Time to say bye. Did you guys see the new gamer subs flavor? It was actually really funny when when I when I first saw it, I just saw the image of it and I I literally went to myself berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. And then fun fun little fact about that. That's what their, like, message was, except it's, I'm a little gamer who loves berries and cream. And I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Nap time. Stand still. Uh, it, the, the new gamer subs flavor is strawberries and cream. Time to say bye. Boom. Relax. In lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Uh. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Bless. Uh, yeah, berries cream. Hee <laughs> hee. It's honestly, like, 
honestly, since I don't have my own gamer subs flavor, you know, like if I were to have like a gamer subs panel, typically it will show like a gamer subs tub and like a cup in it. I would I would probably have the berries and cream. It it's just too spot on perfect. You know, I'm literally berry. Okay, Acheron. I got- I can't fight the fucking beetle. Even if I wanted to fight the beetle, I can't fight the beetle. Okay! Um... Well, that's it for dailies. I don't think I have anything... Oh? Redeemable? I can't fight the beetle. I literally cannot. I don't have the energy to fight the beetle. Where am I going? You? Hello. Yo, purchasable with shield. Yippee. Okay. Oh, lore. Knowledge is power. Okay, you know what this means. It is time for the main story. I literally cannot fight the beetle. I do not have the energy to go fight the beetle. I cannot. It is It is literally not possible in the things of which I... Look, I don't have trailblaze power. I don't, I don't even have... I don't have the trailblaze power. Okay, I can't. We're doing... We're doing the main story, please. If you do not want to see the main story, uh, it's probably in your best bet to uh, not watch. I, I want you guys to watch. I just, I know some people don't want to see the story. So if we're doing 2.2 story. Oh, well, oh shit, I haven't... Accompanied by Clocky's Tick Tocks, after 12 system hours, this grand celebration will commence with much fanfare. Uh, I already told you! We can talk things out! I forgot to edit the audio settings. I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really have something urgent to attend to, so... I had no choice but to resort to asking this favor of you all. Since you already know what you're doing, I'll also have to remind you of its risks. Hey, partner, what's with the hostility? I thought pulling this thing out was just a way of saying hello. For the last time, state your identity and purpose. My name's Boot Hill. And I'm a galaxy ranger. I don't like you. A galaxy ranger? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you think we all went extinct? <laughs> well, that's the price you pay for being off grid for too long. The righteous heroes of the hunt would never hijack the Astral Express. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hijacked anything. What, chatting with someone while holding the gun is considered a hijacking? Uh, it probably is. Pardon my frankness, but there are plenty of rumors in the cosmos regarding the Galaxy Ranger's current status. And none of them are pretty stories. I have a hard time believing you. <laughs> this is hilarious. The tale that this bunch of fools spin is getting out of hand. There's even a bit about the Galaxy Rangers being turned into Gibbons by Dr. Primitive and they're in some valley screwing around on swings. I hate your stance. Of course. I know you won't believe me. Which is also why, similarly, I have a hard time believing that you're the real Nameless. Shockwave3896, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Hello, hello, hello. 
an eternal classic. I may need the Astral Express's help right now, but... Get your lean out of here, cowboy. And this bullet might just end up in my head. I can't allow myself to be exposed to danger. That's just the way it goes, so... You all have to first prove yourselves. Huh? Where are you going? <laughs> hmm. Recognize this? <laughs> it's a model fudger. Model fudger? Ally and Oath. The CN Joe really gave this to you guys? Hmm. Model fudger? This is the Jade Abacus gifted to the Express by the Xianzhou Luo Fu's general, Jin Yuan. Its presence on board serves as the Xianzhou Alliance's official recognition of the Express. Is that enough? <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. And I... these sprawling stars, a gentle squeeze is all it takes to rustle up a whole legion of cloud knights. Now, I reckon that'd be one fudging sight to be- Fudging! I can't. I don't like you. Now it's your turn. Been ages since the Galaxy Rangers had the spotlight shown on them. We ain't equipped with such fancy gadgets. But... I've been around the block enough to know the way to handle these types of situations is easy as pie. All right, then. Feel free to toss any questions my way. Let's see if my answers can't turn your trust. If your gut tells you otherwise, still ain't too late to show me the door. No, he, he quite literally is unattractive to me. Right then, tell me, what kind of organization are the Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> oh, my friend, this question is a hard one. I don't think I can even consider us an organization to begin with. Everyone's on their own fated path along the hunt, with their own resolute sense of righteousness and not so... Welcome among such so-called universal values. Hmm, this reply does not instill trust. It only makes your predicament more... precarious. Voxan, hello, hello, hello. I'm guessing you're gonna ask about some form of shared faith, right? But us Galaxy Rangers don't need that sort of thing. What brings us together is a shared bottom line. Never bully the weak never kill the innocent these oaths aren't some lofty beliefs but the fundamental bottom line that one must never cross as a person as galaxy rangers we strictly adhere to the bottom line when someone crosses them the hunt's vengeance will surely come knocking and in this moment the other crucial meaning of bottom line comes into play. As long as you don't cross it. I will not be pulling for Boothel. You catch my drift? Hmm. Second question. Why do you seek trouble with the Astral Express? I already said that I seek no trouble. I must go to Pinaconi for a matter. But I don't have an invite. And I can't even enter the family's hotel doors. If only I could borrow the Nameless's identity. Uh, the entire cosmos knows your guests of the family. Uh, aren't the Galaxy Rangers also esteemed guests? Well, you hit the nail on the head. This is why I'm here. It's fine if I tell you. The Rangers are pursuing an imposter. A son of a nice lady posing as one of Oh, us. don't get me wrong. She's I love the color palette. Now. My informant is a memo keeper. She's the same as all memetic organisms. And appearing one moment and gone the next. Uh, she scares the fudge out of me. Stop. Still, 
she gave me some vital info. That Galaxy Ranger imposter. Who is it? Is that the third question? Is it a hard question? It isn't. Just that you might not believe me. That person. I hate it. I hate it. Acheron. And according to our informant, she could be an emanator of nihility. <laughs> it's impossible. That's what I said. Uh, don't worry. When I first received the news, I had the exact same reaction as you. IX never gives anyone so much as a first glance, and that's perfectly normal. What reason would they have to bequeath strength unto mortals? I don't want Boothill. Then you must know that emanators can also conceal their own identities, which, for many people, it's better that way. Otherwise, there'd be wanton bloodshed across the cosmos, or even, perhaps, turning their back on the path they're supposed to follow. I had the good fortune of running into an elation emanator. Its appearance was no different than that of those clowns, and if it weren't through sheer luck that I got it drunk, I would have never known of its eminent status. Even in the purest hunt, you'll find the Sienjo Alliance under the spotlight and Galaxy Rangers lurking in the shadows. Paths are inevitably concepts created by people. And exist in planes beyond our understanding. To reckon that nihility emanators don't exist, well, need more galaxy rangers. Just ain't nihilistic <laughs> enough. Hmm. Yeah, but like not Boothill. So, do you understand? I don't like them. Your companions are in danger, and it's pretty harrowing. If you don't want to believe me, you best send a message to them. I'd advise you to move fast. We don't know what's happening in the dreamscape or how much of what the memo keeper said is true. And that Acheron, who knows what she intends to do. I don't Bro. have to do anything. That's not up to you. Clocky? Not clocky, but people who come to the land of dreams like the 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 they'll subconsciously stop to reaffirm that they're still walking on solid ground. Yeah, that that was the watch master. Is instinctual for humanity. Since the day that the golden hour was completed, it's always been there, watching over every single night of decadence. But now this night sky has been mercilessly severed, dyed with the mist of nihility. And this whole event happened within the course of a single slash of a blade. A single slash of a blade isn't really accurate. It was actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. I like, I know who they are, but I don't know their, like, specific titles. But this is basically like a, uh, like leader or like higher, higher being. Bird. Bro, that's sparkle. <laughs> the bird sparkle. I don't... <laughs> Those who live in the shadows do not bear the right to tread the illuminated stage. Speaking of living in the shadows, there's probably not much difference between us. It's only polite. 
to reveal your true self, at least when speaking to others. Panacone's dream master. Yeah! I was right. <laughs> That's just another reason that you can't stay. Whether you believe it or not, this is the real me. We are one. Is this the unity that the family espouses? My mortal shell has long since disappeared. Not the hive mind game. The Oak family's one hundred and seven thousand. 336 offspring are now my eyes, ears, and mouths, spreading joy across dreams when required. And in times of essential need, exiling evil from this haven in my stead. From the sound of it, it seems like you're asking me to leave, Panacone. I am glad that you're an understanding one. Alas, I am not asking. If you think you can. Are you threatening me? Well, given you're in the body of, like, for one, like, a child, but, like, six, like, meh, like, quote-unquote humans. This scene played out many times before. And usually, when faced with my questions, most people retort, Why can't I? The result has invariably been that they can't. You are confident. But be reminded, the family is forgiving, but not weak. The chords of the harmony extend across worlds if you do not comply when the blade is unsheathed for even a hair's breadth you will never be able to escape the eternal centurion's wrath in all of your lifetime 137 individuals that is how many heathens I have exiled since I became Dream Master. Among them were those who once severed my wings, and those who immolated my body. And here I stand again, about to add another mark to the tally. And you will die. I mean, all of you. <sighs> but that won't come to pass. I'll do as you ask. I will lead. A wise choice. I wasn't aware there was a choice. To you, that surely is the only option. Please bear in mind, you and Penicone are of different worlds. Those born on the far bank cannot seek solace across the river. I don't like you. Leave and never return. The radiance of the planet of festivities is overwhelmingly bright, luring in tricksters, wrongdoers, and criminals. But even the harmony itself will never welcome the self-annihilator of nihility. Wah, wah, wah. And even more so, when this self-annihilator heralds the destruction of everything, your strength is obviously a gift of the sleeping and shapeless, immeasurable and fathomless, like a tributary spawned from the abyss 
that brings death and sin to all. A befitting name. Take it from someone on the other side of your so-called river. You know better than I do that Panacone has already deviated from the harmony. Whatever your intentions may be, I foresee only one outcome. Its future holds nothing but nihility. Just like all the worlds that have drowned in their shadow. Oh. Can I please get a time where I can edit my audio? chips fell from the sky and i even caught one of them but it vanished in an instant before my very eyes excuse me are you talking about the clock studios theme park incident huh? yeah what about you're it? dead oh, miss robin am i seeing things right <laughs> no need to worry i apologize for any inconvenience caused to your delightful dream journey what you just mentioned about the chips really piqued my interest. But you are the real one. Providing more details about the incident? You are the real Robin. Oh, it was just those chips you normally see everywhere. The green ones? They fell from the sky as if it were raining. And then those chips simply disappeared. Uh, it appears to be the dream sim tech the Iris family has been developing. Huh? Miss Robin... You mean, those chips were all part of a performance? But, but I really... No, it was fucking adventuring. Technology hasn't been made public yet. It was originally... Good cover-up. ...at the Charmony Festival. But it seems it's been leaked. Can you help me keep this secret? The raining chips were supposed to be part of my act. Okay, so there's a big battle that's going to happen. I, I, I think something with adventuring's gonna go on there. Hold on, kid. Thank you. As appreciation, I'd like to give you a token gift. More buttons? We're really doing more buttons. Okay. Panacone's fucked. That's what's what that's what's happening here. There, there there's going to be the whole festival thing of like Robin performing because that whole thing was coming up. That was supposed to be like the climax of the whole the whole thing. Robin's gonna do her, like, performance. Then there was the whole adventuring thing that just happened with, 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 with the past thing, you know, the past thing that we just did 2.2.1 or whatever. Yeah, we're in 2.2. So 2.1, we did the whole adventuring thing. We're gonna be pulling out the hats. We're, we're gonna basically be... We're, we're gonna be fighting to the performance going on while Robin's singing. And it's going to be quote unquote a part of the performance. Unexpected treat in store for you. As a cover up while everything's going to shit. I guess we're also confused. I'll have to excuse myself. Please enjoy the dreamscape. But you're the real Robin. Talking about it. This commotion at the theme park definitely made waves. Yeah, and you're covering it up, but you're also supposed to be bubbles in the real world. So I'm really confused. Uh, but hey, now I can edit my audio settings. <laughs> I see a yank. I thought Firefly was bubbles. No. We watched Firefly turn into bubbles in what, 2.0? We, we watched Firefly turn into bubbles towards the end of it, yes, where she got stabbed by the meme, okay? The meme thing, it, but that was in the dreamscape. That was in the dreamscape and she turned into bubbles. But then when we went back to like the hotel, 
like the real life hotel and we were talking to adventuring he was all like blah 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 and it showed robin in the bathtub and e like even though so there, there 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 was the robin that we were seeing the whole time but we figured out that that was sparkle and that's why she had the weird like auto tuny kind of voice thing going on so that's how i can tell you this is the real robin as well we're also playing as the character, so I could only assume we are playing as the real Robin. But then in the real world, she, in the bathtub, in, in the like little dreamscape bathtub, you know, like the bathtub thing that you crawled into to like go into the dreamscape. She turned into bubbles and then the main character was all like, <gasps> and then adventuring and was like, yeah, something weird's going on so i don't i'm confusioned the family promised they would protect the guests within the dreamscape but i witnessed a group of organic life forms making their way to the theme park and soon after a rip tore through the sky and black rain started leaking out of the void the void the family needs to provide a reasonable explanation or i'll take my loved ones and return to reality i thought the dreamscape was supposed to be a paradise if it's not then there's no point staying here hi it was all a part of my performance visit, sir has seen many great events and it's true that an uninvited guest has unexpectedly entered the dreamscape however their target is not the ordinary guests, but the ambassadors of the IPC. The family will certainly ensure that the safety of the guests is of the highest importance. Miss Robin, I know the Bloodhound family has already sealed off the theme park and has control over the situation, but it won't resolve the problem. The family can try their best to protect their reputation but as a guest, I don't wish to gamble with my life. But you can't die in the dreamscape. As you can see, sir, no innocent bystanders were affected in this incident. Perhaps the dreamscape is not as perfect as promised, but there's no place safer than dreams under the family's rule. I believe you know this better than I do. If this incident happened in real life, how many people would be able to walk away from it? Hmm. <laughs> I could stay here, but keep in mind, guests come to Penacone to enjoy the dreamscapes. They do not wish to be entangled in a conflict between the family and the IPC, so let's not have any more unnecessary incidents. Of course. With the Charmony Festival about to commence, we will spare no effort in our preparations. Rest assured. To express our apologies, the family has arranged this gift for the guests. Thank you for understanding. Are you not fucking Robin? Because isn't the stat the same fucking button thing going on? Yo, is Robin teamed up with Sparkle? No, because then Sparkle would have no reason to like... What, what, what would you call it? Clone? Uh, copy? Mimic? Robin? to be worried about There's but sparkle did say she would perform for robin please stay calm transform yeah like i don't know the word for this you don't even recognize miss robin who do you think you're talking to uh, I, I i'm sorry i i've just been transferred to the bloodhound family and, and i'm still not too used to working on the streets i, I didn't realize it was you i i'm so sorry Bro, if I had like one of those like crime boards, oh, I'd be, I'd be set right now. How's the situation looking? Oh, we've sealed off the theme park. Most guests are used to bizarre phenomena in the dreamscape, and so far, no threats have been detected. We can expect order to be restored soon. Rest assured, Miss Robin will intensify our patrols to ensure that no incidents occur. I trust you guys, but regarding what happened in the theme park, what do you hounds think about it? 
That's okay. Feel free to speak your mind. Uh, well... Actually, I was there shortly after it happened. Is it true that the IPC's ambassadors came with ill intent? And that Galaxy Ranger who easily cut through the sky? <sighs> Miss Robin, to tell you the truth, everyone's been talking about it. The myriad factions on Panacone have already been causing unease for everyone. Thank you all for Even the brother! I don't, I don't remember his name. The brother, the other brood boy. Has indeed run into some Chicken wing boy. Representative from the IPC. He's trying to regain ownership of Penacony and is prepared for a hostile takeover. Of course the family did not agree. The results of the failed negotiation... Sunday! <laughs> ...is as you see it now. No wonder. Chicken wing boy, Sunday, same difference. The IPC staff are banned from entering the dreamscape. Did they apprehend the troublemaker in the end? Don't worry. Mr. Sunday is currently tracking his whereabouts, and I'll have something to show for it soon. However, given the situation, the IPC surely won't let this go easily. Therefore, we are relying on you hounds to maintain the order and stability of the dreamscape. Please be assured, Miss Robin, we take our orders seriously. We won't let those IPC cronies get away with this. Thank you for your hard work. If there are any other members who still feel uneasy, please tell them on my behalf that protecting the dreamscape requires everyone's help. This is a small gift prepared by the Iris family for the guests. Who's the Iris family? Is that your family? Is that is that the family you're in? The Charmony Festival for an unexpected surprise. You're gonna destroy the city! That's That's the button Sparkle's been given around. To like blow up, like cause commo Penacony's gonna burn. If trouble comes knocking on our door, I, I, that's a guarantee. Penacony's gonna fucking burn. The dreamscape's peace will be protected by the Bloodhound family. That I'm already expecting. While everyone is sitting there looking at Robin's performance, Penacony's gonna be in like an absolute fucking shithole. That's like a guarantee. Hi, that's me. I didn't expect to meet a fan here. I'm honored. Welcome to Penacony, a world filled with wonderful dreams. I can't believe I'm actually meeting the real Robin. Sh shouldn't you be preparing for the Charmony Festival? Preparation is important, but the ceremony is fundamentally about sharing the Great One's harmony with everyone. If there's a chance to sing with everyone, I will not refuse. Regarding As a distraction! I understand. This is a government distraction that's been planned. As a member of the family, it's only right for me to come forward and offer my apologies to everyone. But, uh, are you sure it was actually a mishap? Everyone saw those chips descending like rain and the red light tearing through the sky. Claiming it was merely special effects seems a bit far-fetched. Plus, I met that generous gentleman. He looked really out of it and kept talking to himself. Is this also part of the performance? No, oh, Adventurine, you were having a rough time. Please do not panic. I believe that the family will give everyone a satisfactory answer in due time. Even if you say so, Miss Robin, it's hard to believe. Ugh, some people just never listen, do they? It's never ending. It just goes on and on. I'm getting really tired of this. Am I in your thoughts? Or are you mumbling this to yourself? I suppose I should keep on helping everyone. I am the epitome of joy, kindness, and goodness, after all. You're Sparkle! Uh, You're Sparkle! Huh? What I don't know. Was I just doing? And, uh, who might you be, miss? Here, take this. Fuck it, I knew it! <laughs> this gift has been specially prepared for you by the family. Make sure oh, oh. until the opening <laughs> of the Charmony Festival. Then, when the show reaches its climax... Oh, I'm too good, man. <laughs> 
You never know. Something very exciting might happen. Oh, I knew it. I knew Robin wouldn't be teaming up. But she didn't have... Where it all began. Firefly, shut up. You entered the gold door <laughs> from this place. And it is also from here where you will enter the true Pentacony. Firefly, shut up. Um. The reason why I wanted to believe that we were the actual Robin is because we were playing as them as like the character. But everything that was going on did not scream Robin. Especially when the button, when the button thing was like first shown yeah so so what's happening is sparkle is giving everyone the fucking button thing that's going to fucking blow up the city they're all gonna go there for robin's festival well first of all it's confused because robin fucking died and i do think it's weird that we're playing another dead character ting yun i ting yun's fucking dead but i have a reason to somewhat maybe believe that ting yun isn't dead because they were all like maybe she's not dead uh, I don't know about Robin though. We literally watched Robin float up in the bubbles. Sunday was literally like, you killed my fucking, like, what, sister? Uh, fuck you. I don't like you. Stop pretending to be her. And then she was like, hey, I could still do the performance. The only confusing thing is beforehand, Sparkle, when transformed into Robin, had that auto tune voice that even Welt commented on. Isn't that weird? That, like, she's supposed to be some really good singer and stuff, and her voice is so, like, inconsistent. So, I don't- I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's because Robin's, like, dead or something that she was then able to start, like, cloning her better. I don't know. Um. Sparkle's gonna do the performance. Sparkle's gonna do the Robin performance while the whole city goes to shit. journey alongside you once more but it's time i laid bare the entire truth before you as you might have heard i also go by another name stellaron hunter sam yeah so like you fuck with Kafka. You, you, you and Kafka are like homies. So can you, can you bring her here? And <laughs> she's hot. I'm fine. Sorry, I hope I haven't scared you. I know you have many questions. Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? When I was caught by that meme? In that instant before it killed me, I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. So, following the clues in the script, I came up with some theories about the meme. That's why I instructed Silverwolf to issue invitations, drawing everyone to the Dreams Hotel. Yeah, I'm following. I intended to call upon death before you arrived. To solve the riddle using more direct means. And then invite you to join. However, contrary to my wishes, I couldn't defy the script. And I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. It is how you see now. I was impaled by the bladed wings of death. The heavy pressure of concentrated memoria, miasma... It exploded in my mind as if it was actually reality. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. Uh -huh. I was still alive. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful dream. Beneath the dreamscape of Panacone lies another, more chaotic, more primal memory zone. Its name? Land of the Exiles. Yeah, so what you're explaining here... Okay, hold on. I hotel in the dreamscape hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, I 
I could not reveal my own identity. So I could only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. Okay, so like what you're explaining, Firefly, is so there's this thing that happens when people make games and we're basically in this weird ass dream VR setup. So one thing that typically happens in video games is they will add another layer or like another part of it underneath that holds things like assets and stuff, even if they aren't typically seen in what you see in the game. <laughs> It wasn't until not long ago when a crimson blade of light shattered the high wall of the dream, causing you all to fall far into the abyssal depths of the dreamscape, that I was able to awaken you and your companions one by one. And, and that's it. That is all that's happened so far. I completely understand. It's tough to believe all this. No, I'm I'm with you, girly. I just want to say you are very close to the final answer. Just one more thing needs to be done. And then I can prove it to you. Now. Let's leave this place. Please close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Visualize the dreamscape's outline in your heart. Mm -hmm. And remember, you must not open your eyes at all times. But can I breathe? Three, okay. Two. One. Don't be afraid. The one who has come to greet us. Sorry, sorry, I'm closing my eyes. Oh. Okay, after a piercing screech, a thick and ferocious surge of memoria crashes into your chest, churning and ravaging. Your consciousness becomes like scraps of paper caught in a whirlpool, breaking apart, dissolving and dispersing within the turbulent, muddy current. Ow. And numb innumerable voices resonated through the symphony of memoria like roaring thunder. And among them, one echo stood out with exceptional clarity. You knew it came from the girl beside you, your hearts beating to the same rhythm, peaceful and even more peaceful. Until that quiet darkness, memoria, memories, sorry, until that quiet darkness, memories ripple into existence. I hydrate now. Lady, who are you? <laughs> I don't, I don't know who you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was right. I was right. Okay, I knew that haircut anywhere. <laughs> do you have a driver's license? I do. That is surprising. You, Blady has a driver's license. Because this is Chapella. The city of sins. No, it's nothing. I'm just thinking that you haven't slept in 20 system hours. Are you sure you're okay? It sounds like me for real. <laughs> I'll survive. Same goes for you. I'm not so sure about that. Slow down a bit. Infiltration is over. Feel free to activate Sam anytime you like. There's still some time before the next part of the script unfolds. Let me stay a little longer in this body. <laughs> Blade's real superpower, Insomnia. It wasn't until much later that a soft sigh once again broke the quiet in the car. Such a long tunnel. <laughs> Didn't feel this long when I set off. In half a system hour, it will lead us to Kafka. 
And then comes the downfall of the Japella Brotherhood. I don't know who Japella is. Is that also part of the script? It's in your script too. Sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> Their destiny won't change just because of your selective ignorance. I told you before, it's a bad habit. What about you then? Is this the moment you finally find the death you've been looking for? As always, it's a blank slate. It's not on this planet. Why the sudden inquiry? Because I'm currently in a car time. with a sleep deprived driver. A sleep deprived driver. <laughs> I just want to get there in one piece. Listen, when you're sleep deprived and driving, you feel like you're floating. Like, like you're like in Minecraft, you, you know, like when you're flying in Minecraft, like with the cheat commands and you're just like hovering. It, yeah. I get it. I get it. This car has full self-driving capabilities. I'll just put my hand on the steering wheel. Will that do? <laughs> Hey, don't take everything so seriously. Elio would always say there's only one type. Cue of the KSI floating meme. The inescapable type. He can see the future, and we, likewise, are aware of our predetermined end. But before that moment arrives, we can still choose what we do. But we all have this right, don't we? After today, Chapella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not too distant future, you'll receive an invitation. That's your next stop. Land of the Dreams. Panacone. Panacone. I hope you find whatever you seek there, be it answers. Or salvation. What is up with you all being obsessed with salvation? Yeah. Glad to see you're safe and sound. Of course. Well, why do you look a little different? Am I crazy? You don't. You look different. Well, <laughs> well, you look different, buddy. I don't know why, but you don't. You look off. <laughs> Well, you're not well. I don't know, man. Close your eyes. This is the answer. Isn't it incredible? The monster that we have always known as death is actually the guardian of the land of the exiles. It abides by a certain rule. Abducting people from their dreams and bringing them here. The question that has been perplexing us, does death really exist in the dreamscape, appears to be a cognitive trap that was laid by those orchestrating events from the shadows to cover up the truth behind the disappearances and the existence of this fortress known as Dreamflux Reef. Every emergence of that meme is related to the Watchmaker. Since Dreamflux Reef is where it brings its captives, it's likely that many of our long-standing questions will be answered in this place. The atmosphere here is starkly different from the beautiful dream. There are no regulators here like the family. And they all look like they're mildly dazed. But from the whispers of the residents, they've heard a familiar name. Gallagher. Yeah, we it's love alcoholics. Man, always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Though that does save us the trouble of looking for him. Himiko and March have already made a move. Get ready. Why do you look We're different, awesome. Well, Like, it's something about, like, your top. The real dreamscape. The land of the exiles. Before we go, should we speak to everyone first? 
I, I want to make sure I have my proper team set up. Because that would be awkward. Uh, am I... Like, his top just looks weird. It Has it always been like that? I don't... I don't remember this piece being here. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Okay, I stretched Seminoid. Thank you for the lurky. Ugh. Damn, not the depressed bird. <laughs> Birdie, I feel you, man. This trash bag is mine. I'm sorry. No, you can have it. I just, I thought we could maybe be like depressed birdies and trash cans together. No, Bert, no, I'm sorry. I should have never disturbed you. Sometimes we just need to rot in the trash bag for a little. Some Sometimes that's all we need. Just not too long. Not too long. Wait, when did she get Virgil hair? It happens sometimes. <gasps> Memory thing. Oh yeah, hold on, we are on. You, I love that noise, whatever. That like broken electricity line, like meow, meow, meow. I love that noise. That makes me happy. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the depressed bird again. Yo, are you going to bury delight? What? Bury the... Bury the light deep within and rot in a trash bag with the depressed bird? Oh! <laughs> but I, I've never played DMC! I just drool over V. I don't care about the puddle. Oh, I I thought I don't I don't know. I thought Keep going straight down. You need to play DMC. Listen here. It'll take us to the center of the land of the exile. Yo, we love rotting in trash down here. I love this place. It's home. Oh, it's so welcoming. And relatable yank. I literally don't care about any of the other people in that game other than V. V's just hot. And he there there there's one fight where he goes, Don't worry. I'll be gentle. And you know what? That kind of won it over for me. But also when when that came out, DMC5, uh, Tumblr was still like a thing. And like, I just want to say the whole like Tumblr community. Yes, I'm a Tumblr girly. Anyway, the whole Tumblr community was all over V. He's like the definition of a Tumblr boy. We- Are you drinking beer? You know what? We're in like the slums of Penacone. I can't even blame you. You know what's up, Honkai? With the like- So, 
we had a world, aka your rule of six, where we had like the bright and pretty and nice world and then like underneath it, it was like despair and like rotting and like we're all like depressed and in like the slums. And then we do it again. Looks like the watchmaker also left his mark on Dreamflux Reef. Holy shit, this was the original Penacony. Something bad happened here. Something bad happened. And Clocky himself is literally telling you, go up. It's safer and better up there. This is like the broken, like, hopes and dreams. This is, like, dark. The fact that it's also highlighted, like, quite literally, it is highlighted on his finger saying up. Go up. Yo, yo, no, go back. Go the lore. The lore. I needed it. What is up with these kids? This fortress is pretty different from that in the Look, it keeps pointing up. Keep the go up. I was in awe too. The sky here, it's like a reflection of the 12 dreamscapes. What's even more bizarre is that this place is also separated into trade and residential areas. The layout may be simple, but the facilities are very comprehensive. It seems that there are quite a number of people living here. A hundred. Though both dreamscapes have distinct styles, the architectural design... And 76 or something like that? ...works of the same hand, perhaps. Hard not to speculate on the connection. But there's no point in... I wish I could read this. Let's meet up with Himiko and the others first. Take a right turn at the end of this road and you'll reach the trade district. There are more people there. And perhaps someone knows where she is. Not coming with us? The Astral Express likely needs room for some internal deliberation. In the meantime, I'll try and locate Gallagher. Thank you for the sure. lyrics, Sepulch. Let's reconnect later. Letting her go was the right decision. Further observations are needed before we decide whether to trust her. But first, there is someone I need to talk to. Let's go. Not I forgot sure. your name, wimpy boy. <laughs> he's right over there. Yeah, I forgot his name, but he's talking the clocky. Bellboy. How did he end up here? And right after Miss Acheron severed the beautiful dream. We'd better check, just to be sure. Can I go back down the elevator? Perfect for me. I, I, I'm sorry. I just, I need... I need to see what that thing was. I needed to see the lore that I missed. It's very important. Guys, don't forget to claim your drops, by the way. Bro, it's just clocky. <laughs> Bro, it's literally just clocky. <laughs> what is- Trash can is perfect for me. Bro! We're besties! Hold on, I don't want to go there because I feel like it's going to force a interaction. 
if I get too close. I'm on... Does that hurt? Bitch. They seem so much kind of better down here. Oh, that's what I meant to get. That's a Robin song. Yo, this place is huge! Bro. This place is too relatable. It really does separate you from reality, you know? Like, on, on the front, the, the whole thing is like, everything is great, everything is perfect. But then deep down, it's like, you know... Things suck and deal with it. Hold on. Yeah. Time catches up to all of us at some point. Bro, just you guys wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna start making fucking like lore theory videos on Honkai Star Room. The hidden lore. What really happened in your Rillo 6 will shock you. Who is Sampo, really? Other than a rope bunny. Oh, hi luck! <laughs> I feel like I'll get an achievement if I talk to all the, like, little manhole covers. Kirk. Who are you? I don't actually care, but, uh, I wanna buy toys? I... don't actually care about the toys. Death of the Crow. So this is the sequel. I didn't want to talk to you. And I joined in on Barry talking about rope bunnies and noted. No, I was just saying. I'm gonna start making, like, lore theory videos on Honkai Star Rail. And I would name it, like, Who is Sampo really? Exclamation mark, question... Exclamation point. Question mark. And then I followed it up with, Besides a rope bunny. Because I I think we can all agree I I I full on believe Sampo would do anything for the right price. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Paid him enough. He he fucking. Let's go. 
True, he probably would. It's not probably. He would 100% without a doubt. He would be anything you wanted him to be with the right price. Lucky. I knew you couldn't hold your liquor. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh -uh. What the fuck? It's a really, it's, it's really, e it's, it's laid back luck, really. Uh, to anyone, you know, curious, I, I, I do plan to be playing some AFK Journey, uh, later. It's just, it's a really laid back game. It's nice, it's simple, it's fun. It is our sponsor, you know, but I, I was playing it before. We were even sponsored, so. I like the game a lot. Trust my judgment. I like gotcha games, and I like not having to dedicate my entire life to them. You can, but you don't have to, and that's what I like about it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Hello! Wait. There's things over there that I can collect. Yank. I want to get all the collection out of the way. I know I can come back to this place, you know, like with the waypoints. I just... Bro, I can go down? Oh, hell yeah. Preach! Kid, preach. Yank. I don't care, birdie. Once upon a time, I decided to read all of the dialogue to the birds, and then I realized that sucks. There's so many birds. Yo, more collectibles! Give me all of the collectibles. Hello, you stubborn. 
Birdie. Some people say that dreams of glory overly idolizes the role that the family played in history and that many of the storylines are completely fabricated. Of course, it's just a small number of people. Very small. Are you really leaving? Let me fix you. Ah, uh, nope. Still confused. What? Ah. Huh. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, it took a minute. We got there. We did it. I just had to figure out how things rotated. Unknown. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm just collecting things because I know I need to and I want Jade and that's pretty much it. I want Jade. I'm trying to do another ten pull on Robin. I might have enough for another. I knew I would get an achievement for talking to those manholes. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, that's another pool. So that's what, seven? Seven pools? Seven. There, buddy. Misha, that's your name. Yes, from before. <laughs> we meet again. And a new friend. Uh, uh, forgot to introduce myself. I'm the hotel's bellboy, Misha. You're kind of everywhere, homie. Hello, Misha. I'm Welt. Uh, we met in a dream. Oh. And uh, who might this be? Mr. Yang, you can see him. Your uh, memory zone mean? <laughs> no, Clocky is a good friend of mine. We all live here. How did you two get here? This dreamscape isn't supposed to be open to the public. I wonder if it has something to do with Sleepy. So this is your home? Misha does look like furry. <laughs> dream ends, I'll go back home. Commuting used to be more convenient, but ever since travel became cumbersome, Sleepy started ferrying people back and forth between the two dreamscapes. This Sleepy, can you describe what it looks like? Sleepy is a memory zone meme. Looks fierce and has many eyes, but it's actually really well behaved. Gallagher's been taking care of it. Gallagher again? Based on the description, that meme is indisputably dead. Ow. For the family, but for the Thank you for the head pads and the posture check and the hydrate. Death? Not in a dream, surely. Sleepy's just a little aggressive and sometimes messes 
up by fetching the wrong guest. But it would never hurt anyone. I see. Has it brought back any guests recently? Say, in the last day or two? We're currently investigating a missing person case that occurred within the beautiful dream. I see. Then you'll have to speak with Gallagher. But he's currently busy hosting a visitor from the Oak family and specifically asked not to be disturbed. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Yang, the person you're looking for, is it Miss Robin? Damn, not Robin. As, as I thought. Considering what happened with Miss Firefly, this doesn't come as a surprise. If you're looking for Miss Robin, I can lead the way. She told me that she'd be willing to meet with outside guests. If it's not too much trouble. Also, we're looking for our missing companions. Um, a woman with red hair accompanied by a girl with pink hair. Have you seen them? Oh, I... I haven't. But please, rest assured. Dreamflux Reef is a small place, and it's not as bustling as the beautiful dream. But its safety is unmatched. Uh, how about this? Since it's your first time here in Dreamflux Reef, I'll be your guide and help you find your companions. And then we can all go visit Miss Robin together. She's gone to Mrs. Grace's to visit the children. She won't be leaving anytime soon. So there should be enough time. All right, then. We'll uh, follow your plan. Well, we now know the answer to both murder cases that have caused such commotion in Penaconi. As for the intentions of the mastermind behind it all, we are still none the wiser. That name, Sleepy. Uh, no idea. But its connection to Gallagher is worth digging into. Regardless, we have to find him. Say, you mentioned before that you saw a clocky that only you could see, right? Yep, he's right there. I can't shake off this strange feeling. Am I really still so young at heart? Forget it. <laughs> it's not important. Uh, we'd better just follow Misha. Following Misha. Everyone, look! From here, you can see the most spectacular view of Dreamflux Reef. A black hole? No. An accretion disk formed from consolidated memoria? Was Dreamflux Reef built on such unstable memoria? Oh, so Mr. Yang is also versed in memoria dynamics. I was just trying to figure out how to explain this huge hole to everyone. I bet you guys have a lot in common with Miss Kami. Yeah, Kami. I don't who who's Kami. Uh, we're fig. Oh, is that Kami? Look, there she is. Ah. Are finally done. In another ten system hours, are you a part of the family? Swallow the dream below. My hypothesis was correct. This place will cease to exist as the dream devours everything. Hmm? Who are you all, and why haven't you left yet? This place is about to disappear. Then why aren't you leaving? I'm a dreamscape surveyor specializing in memoria dynamics. And this is my life's work that I'm researching. You see that huge gaping hole? It was just a narrow rift many years ago. But now, it's grown into a giant hole. The surrounding memoria has been flowing towards the other end of the uh -huh, hole. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Constant velocity, slowly but surely. But the scary part is... According to my calculations, the flow rate of Memoria has recently changed, and it's faster than ever before. It's almost, almost as if something is sucking it in from the other side. By constantly improving upon Madame Rosalina's Memoria measurement method, I've finally obtained accurate results. After mm -hmm, 10 mm -hmm. hours, the Dreamflux Reef will cease to 
to exist. Just like the melting of glaciers, everything will crumble and disintegrate. The dreams on that side of the void will fuse into one. Uh, guys, real quick, don't don't forget to claim your drops. Uh, if you've worked on your drops already, you should be able to claim them all now. I believe the drops were only like a two hour uh, watch time drop. So if you have been here since the beginning, you should be able to claim uh, all of the drops. Please don't worry. This sort of thing has happened many times before. Miss Amy isn't a bad person. She's just a bit lost in her own world she'll probably realize she's wrong soon enough <laughs> you don't say there was a something else that piqued my interest who is madame rosalina oh do you know her too or are you also a fan of memoria dynamics we're very interested in madame rosalina's achievements uh, could you tell us a little more about them why, of course! She's an excellent scholar of Memoria Dynamics, and the first person to apply Memoria Rate Measurement Methodology on interstellar travelers. Regrettably, due to the presence of the Garden of Recollection, ordinary people don't pay much attention to the nature of Memoria. She departed this world without much fame, leaving only a few thin journals behind. Mm -hmm. I came to Petaconi to learn more about my idol, and went to great lengths to seek out Dreamflux Reef, all because this is her final resting place. Prodigies always meet their demise prematurely. If only Madame Rosalina had more time, she would have discovered a way to reverse the flow of Memoria. I felt it. The source is in the golden hour. There is a certain anomalous presence stirring the currents of the memory zone. We must uncover more concrete proof. We must convince everyone. Okay. Does the name Madame Rosalina sound familiar to you? Who? Before we came to Penacone, <laughs> the conductor had given us a list of nameless to look into. Her name was mentioned. It seems like she did a great deal of research and calculations in Dreamflux Reef before abruptly passing away. Miss Katie regularly mentions her. I hear Madame Rosalina passed away during the prison war. <sighs> she could see the Pentacony of today. It's people building homes in the memory zone. <laughs> I bet she'd be really happy. Perhaps. Our destination is the commercial district. That's where the largest clouds gather in Dreamflux Reef. We might be able to find the others there. Hey, it's March! Let me Oh, sorry. There's a ghost. Don't come near me. Damn. Oh my. I'm human and so are you. Can you get a grip? Uh, Mr. Yang and Miss Trailblazer, I've been waiting for you. Quickly, come help. I bumped into a member of the family on the way here. He was so scared and I just wanted to calm him down. But let me go, let me go! I've only done good in my life. Why can't I rest in peace after death? Well, this is how it turned out. Damn. <laughs> you scared him this badly? Ha ha, you're a regular comedian. He thinks he's dead. Although, when I first fell in, I also thought the same. Dear guest, this is not the afterlife. This is Dreamflux Reef. That's right. Did you hear that? Repeat after me. Dreamflux Reef. You... You're talking to someone invisible. If I'm not dead, what am I? <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed my luck and tried sleeping in my dream. Curiosity kills the Papesti. Damn. Invisible who? Stop asking! You'll alert the monsters! All the dead are right here. All of them! Uh, you're not talking about the memory zone meme, are you? 
Don't say that name! It's all your fault. They're coming! Oh. Okay. Stand still. Heartbreaker. Ill fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Ready for another? Relax. I thought they were going to be worse. I thought they were Intense negative emotions attracted the nearby memory zone memes. I see. But why aren't the other people around here scared? Unlike in the sweet dream, people here don't see memory zone memes as dangerous monsters. And even if they pose a threat, people can easily escape by forcing a wake up call. Uh huh. But we can't just leave this man here. Can we take him somewhere safe? We can ask Jesse for help. I've gotten to know many locals while waiting for you guys. Everyone here is living a self-sufficient life. I don't know how to describe it, but this place feels like the real dreamscape. Yeah, like it, they're they're not it, think of think of it like social media. Like they're not like influenced by this great, perfect, amazing thing and like how they like everything has to be perfect. This is kind of just like, this is life, this is it, oh well, move on, pick yourself up and go. Let's see how you handle a stroke of genius like this. I don't think I talked to the right person. Yeah, I didn't. I meant to talk to you. Miss March, who might these be? These two are my friends. As for the man lying on the ground, uh, he's a scaredy cat who fainted from fright. <laughs> I see. Another poor guy who accidentally ended up here. I'll take care of him. There have been a lot of new faces lately. Things must be tough in the beautiful dream. Hmm. The few remaining havens of freedom in Asdana will soon... Artsy, hello. Do such things often happen here? Not really, but they're becoming more frequent now. Guess it's one of the signs of the sweet dreams collapse. This man has had quite the shock. Could you help me find a Halovian lady march? Her songs can heal mental wounds. Whoa! A Halovian lady? That must be Robin. She's also here in Dreamflux Reef. Huh? Robin? But I thought she... Oh, right. If Firefly is here safe and sound, then it means Robin must be okay too. No, because she He's turned into bubbles in real life. What happened? But before that, let's meet up with Himiko. You were with her earlier, right? We Usa, thank you, thank you for the lurky. Neighboring star systems. I heard that places like Dreamflux Reef are scattered throughout the memory zone of Asdana, like islands in the ocean. They existed before the family arrived. I also heard that when Dreamflux Reef took shape, it was the center of all dreamscapes in Penacony. If that's true, it's no wonder there are so many similarities between this place and the sweet dream. Himeko must be gathering information. Let's hurry up and get going. Okay. Guys, I really have to pee. Can I go pee real quick? <laughs> I I want to continue the story. I just I I have to I have to use the bathroom. Oh, hold on. Do we got another pool? No, that's fine. Up. I'll be right back. I... I got pee. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. Here, have... Have some vibey lo-fi while I'm gone.
Hello. I'm back. Hi. Sorry. I, I try not to... Or I, I try to only go to the bathroom every hour. But I didn't have to pee. <laughs> and then I really had to pee, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Really? So that's how it is. I never imagined we'd gather the remaining details here. <laughs> Tomorrow Gallagher's catchphrase. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Himeko, here they are. Oh, perfect timing. Now that everyone's here, I'd like to introduce Mika? Everyone, Mika, who's partly in charge of the land of the Exodus. Sorry, Micah. Micah, these are my companions. Wait, but me, 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 whatever. Twink. Bellhop boy. When they were in that weird meme dream area, wasn't he all like, Micah, please don't leave me here. It's a pleasure to meet the nameless. You know us? I've been keeping an eye on you since the day you arrived in Penacony. We would have met under more appropriate circumstances if Dreamflux Reef hadn't been isolated from the Twelve Dreamscapes. <sighs> Please, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Micah, the Gravekeeper of Dreamflux Reef. Gravekeeper? Life in Dreamflux Reef is pretty liberating. Everyone here mostly keeps to themselves, without meddling in others' affairs. My daily task involves cleaning a few tombstones. You're too modest, Micah. When lost dream chasers stumble upon this place, you're the one who takes care of them, guiding them back to the sweet dream, or showing them how to survive the wild dream chaos. So, a uh, guardian of sorts. Hmm? Uh, were you talking to me, Mr. Yang? Mm hmm? Hmm? <laughs> On that note, Mr. Mika, uh, which tombstones are you referring to? We didn't come across any graveyard when we arrived. <laughs> They're actually just symbolic stones. But since you're curious, Mr. Yang, I'll take you there. I have a few yeah, 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 yeah. Of interest there. Uh, but before that, you have an important guest joining you. An important guest? Who could it be? This way, please. The roads here in Dreamflux Reef are a bit run down, so watch your step. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I went to explore again. I'm, I'm, I'm following you guys, even though we're not walking together. I'm following. She is. It really is her, Miss Robin. Sparkle. Everyone sang so wonderfully. It's not often that I tried this music style, but I've gained some valuable insights from it. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Robin. Well, these kids have made incredible progress in only a few days. It was nothing, Grace. I merely taught them how to sing. It was you who brought hope into their lives. Oh. Life must be quite difficult for them in reality, I imagine. That's right. Whenever it's time to say goodbye to these kids, they're reluctant to leave. But I've explored every corner of Dreamflux Reef, talked to everyone I met, and they all told me the same thing. This shattered dream is not worth clinging to. <laughs> it seems you truly are a child of the Harmony. Emma and Andy are orphans I took under my wing. Carol there, with her blind eyes, used to work at a nutrition center in the outer ring of Penacony. And as for Gary, he's been living with autism since he was a child. They're not old enough to enter the sweet dream managed by the family. If we compare people to birds, 
These kids are like fledglings with impaired wings. Oh. But in this dream, well, they can fly freely. Even if they stumble along the way, well, they're still relying on their own strength. And me, an old lady with no legs. Well, without this dream, I couldn't even walk towards... Damn! You don't got legs? I'm glad that you found a new life here in Penacony. It's just... Don't worry, Robin. Dreams have their significance, but they aren't everything. Both the children and I understand this. No matter how long we fly through this dream, we will one day return to reality. But you know what? Emma and Gary aren't plagued by their insecurities anymore. No, and Carol is learning how to cope with her blindness. And Andy is livelier than ever. Well, even I've become more optimistic. You see, in dreams, we learn how to live. Once we return to reality, we learn how to survive. And should our feathers be damaged, then we share our wings with one another. There's no need to covet an illusory sky in dreams. Because we have the right and the ability to fly towards a broader horizon. It's a relief to see you safe and sound, Miss Robin. <laughs> it's nice to see you all again, Astral Express crew. I heard my disappearance caused quite the commotion out there. I'm really sorry about that. Since you're here, can we assume that you're, you're not real? Of the situation in Penacony? Ever since I returned to Penacony, my voice started to change. Until it gradually faded away. At first, I thought it was a temporary ailment. Perhaps due to having been away too long. I thought maybe it'd just take some time for my body to acclimate to the high concentration of memory and as Donna. And now it seems... The root of the problem goes way beyond me. There are elements around me that don't align with the harmony. Losing my voice... It's just one of the signs of the sweet dreams collapse. You're literally dead. Sweet dreams collapse. That memo keeper mentioned the same thing. So it's real. While I was away from Penacony, the boundaries of the 12 dreamscapes kept expanding outward. But whenever I mentioned the anomalies in my dreams, all the family heads refused to talk about it. Only my brother was willing to respond. Later, I discovered the secret letters from the IPC ambassador, which further convinced me that there are hidden secrets beneath the surface of Penacony. So, following the clues in the Oak family's dossiers, I found my way here. The land of the exiles, concealed by the family under the guise of death. A dream within a dream. A dream within a dream. <laughs> Hearing you speak. It sounds as if your voice has made somewhat of a recovery. I hate to admit it, but the harmony in this place resonates more broadly than within the sweet dream. It's regrettable, but the family has experienced betrayal. Mm -hmm. Betrayal or traitors. Abandoned their original principles and, using the name of harmony, Exploited people's weaknesses uh -huh. to turn Penacony into the planet of festivities. Trapping everyone in the illusion of the sweet dream. This is not the strong defending... Oh, watch them eyebrows, girl. Strong exploiting Ew. the weak. A world without equality won't ever... I can't even do it. The harmony. Naturally, those voices blessed by them have lost the ability to sing. Could there be another force influencing the family's shift in philosophy, Miss Robin? You're not real. Considering what happened with Acheron, it's difficult to conceive of another entity within the realm of the Harmony capable of influencing everyone. Unless a power surpassing that of an emanator is involved. <sighs> I'd heard about what happened to the Sienjo Alliance. But as far as I'm aware... The family hasn't faced any such external interventions. Who knows? Perhaps I've just been away too long and missed something. 
Regardless, I cannot accept my home is moving towards the very opposite of what the Harmony represents, while still claiming to uphold it. I must uncover the reason why Mikhail cut ties with the family, and who exactly it was who betrayed us all. Do you remember our arrangement, Mr. Micah? Well, here's my answer. I've decided to forgo my role, and never step foot on the Charmony Festival stage again. So you're the real Robin. Another? A little bird. Looks like a fledgling Charmony dove. But Charmony doves don't live here. So how did this little bird get here? Maybe its parents abandoned it? It looks weak and frail. Why don't we find something soft? Can make a nest for it. This place is too dangerous for a fledgling. Let's take it with us. We can put it on the wooden shelf in front of your window. Okay. A bird like that must have a beautiful singing voice. But where will it live? I'll ask the family head to build a cage for it. Then it won't have the freedom to fly, right? Let's see. What is it that has captured the attention of the two best interpreters of the Great One? To the point that they've forgotten how to enjoy their dessert. I would love dessert right now. Oh, poor little thing. Doesn't look like it's doing well. Do you want to rescue it? I do. But I don't want to lock it up in a cage. Why? Even if it's small and not fully feathered, I can't sing. It didn't come into this world just to be locked up in a cage. It's meant to be free and live its own life. Birds. They should be flying free in the sky. Yeah. That's quite the romantic idea. And what about you, a young scholar? Do you agree with your sister? I think she's right. But if we leave it out in the wild, it won't survive for more than a few days at best. Ah, I see. It seems our little scholar is still a bit unsure. Well. Let me tell you youngsters a story. As you probably know, Charmony doves can fly through the air. Uh -huh. They fly really high. The friction caused by the flapping of their feathers against the atmosphere creates amazing lights so that they look like shooting stars. We've seen the spectacle so many times that we think it's just something they can naturally do. But that's not the truth. Their radiant display is the result of countless struggles against Thank nature you for the lurk, Echo. Over generations. This is sisters were too weak to survive on the ground. So, to escape predators, they started seeking new opportunities in the air. After countless attempts by many generations, one of them finally figured out how to fly. It soared into the sky and never looked back at the ground again. So, you mean... Birds are born to fly, but they find a way to do it through their determination, right? Well, that's an idealistic way of putting it. So, what are your thoughts, Sunday? I... I think people believe birds are meant to fly because they've never seen those birds crashing to their death. 
I... Interesting perspective. So, have you decided what to do with the bird now? We're, we're now talking with the real Robin. Sparkle Robin is up in, in, in the good dream or whatever. Penicone up in, you know, that place. This is the real Robin. This is the real Robin. I I I was I thought I was 100% sure that Robin died in the real world. I think what happened is Robin was killed in the dreamscape and is like what they call what spiritually dead. Robin's alive. Just in this like worn down part of the city. For now, I'll keep it in a cage until it can take care of itself. I I want it to live no matter what well said kids it seems each of you has found your own answer your insights are truly remarkable and I hope they come true in their own way we will uh -huh. take good care of it won't we brother yeah, but Mr. Gopherwood, there's one thing I don't quite Who the fuck is Mr. Gopherwood? And what might that be, my son? What if this little Charmony dove never learns to fly in the end? I mean, if there are fledglings in this world that can never fly throughout their lives... Should we let them go back to the sky? Only to see them crash to the ground and die? Well, so Sunday, it wouldn't make it to the sky because it can't fly. So it wouldn't die from crashing down. Talking in your sleep, birdie? <laughs> Time to wake up. Oh. Need a hand? <laughs> I'm still alive? Yeah. Happy about that. I like how he says that with like a question like Now. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the first thing you'd ask. Don't worry, your sister is here, safe and sound. She's probably walking around the streets now. If I were you, I'd be more worried about myself. Yeah, okay, so that is the Robin. Right in front of you is the guy who just stabbed you in the chest with a dagger. If you wanted to kill me, you wouldn't give me the chance to speak. Just tell me your demands, lackey of the watchmaker. So, you figured out who I am, huh? No wonder you had the guts to go against the Dream Master and the four families. Looks like I made the right choice. Choice? You are aware of my plan and see through my act. Time is running out, so let's drop the charades. I'm suggesting we cooperate. Cooperate? What makes you think I'd cooperate with you? Hmm. The fact that the famous Robin has chosen my side. Plus, some clues about a traitor and a bright future for Penacony. Any of that catch your interest? So, Penacone, the good Penacone, is gonna have a downfall. Fine. You don't have to trust me. What you should trust is... the sense of justice inside of you. Show me Robin first. Alright. As you wish. Here she is. Huh? What's your trick this time? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, this lady will lead us to Robin, right? And the crew, too. There are too many people who you owe an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Please follow me on a stuff. Family head. Love her. Now, Hello. Good morning. Are on the stage. Moments later. 
This is the monument I mentioned earlier. The name's inscribed on it. Should be familiar to all of you. I can't read Rather that language. Oh. Tiernan. When Penacone was no that answered that. Years, it was the trailblazers who connected it with the stars. They were the heroes who saved us, Donna. And their names deserve to be immortalized. Not just on this small stone tablet, but in the annals of history for all of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, However, mm -hmm. today, the planet of festivities is nothing but sweet dreams. That heavy piece of history is all a distant memory. Just like that prison. Their names are inscribed here. Then that means... According to Micah, they died long ago. Rosalina was killed during the War of Independence. She ventured alone into the heart of the star system to investigate mm -hmm, the flow mm -hmm, of the war, mm -hmm. but she never returned. Rip. Tiernan was a skilled gunslinger, strong and reliable. He led the people through countless battles, but he didn't live long enough to witness the arrival of true peace. In the decade following the war, Penacone faced challenges internal and external. To protect Asdana, Tiernan took up the way of the Trailblaze and led the Lantmoth family to explore beyond the system, only to be surrounded and wiped out by the swarm. Though I had expected as much, the tales of these heroes truly are sorrowful. True to the title of Trailblazer, they spent their lives venturing into the unknown. But what about this tablet? There are no names carved on it. When Dream Flux Reef was created, its owner was still alive. However, he insisted on erecting a monument for himself, saying that it will happen someday. Here we meet again, everyone from the Astral Express. Robin. Robin, my sister. How have you been, Barry? I've been good. Um, I'm just streaming a lot. Private. Editing. So let's talk about our business first. Content creation. That sounds sensible enough. Since you went through the trouble of gathering the family... Some, head, some of you say I work myself too hard. I think I'm not working hard enough. To say, Mr. Gallagher? I forgot to post a TikTok oh, today. Is that obvious? The look on your face is practically screaming I'm the one behind all this. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Yang. It is indeed time to come clean on everything. The siblings already know what they need to, and they've made their choice. But you, Nameless, arrived a bit late. So it's only fair that I answer your questions. Before we begin, let me reintroduce uh -huh, myself. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm the founder of Dream Flux Reef. The deputy of the watchmaker, and the one who sent out that invitation. As ah. a history fictionologist, I humbly extend my greetings to you all. History fictionologist? So what? Everything you told us was made up? Well, well. don't worry. <laughs> Almost everything I shared was true. Well, Almost. except for the part about the family accepting me back. I double-checked with Micah, and everything he said about the family, the Watchmaker, and Mikhail is true. Thank you for your understanding. Now let's get down to business. I'm sure you're all wondering why I went through the trouble of setting up this battle for the legacy. Inviting different factions, and stirring up a ruckus all over Penacone. Well, it all boils down to something very familiar to all of you. The Stellaron. The Stellaron? But how is that possible? Penacone is a free-flowing interstellar hub. There are no signs of contamination whatsoever. Your 
totally correct. So, care to take a guess at what that means? The Stellaron. Someone is manipulating the Stellaron? Oh, keen. Well, what should I say? I expected nothing less from the person here who is the most familiar with the Stellaron. The sweet dream doesn't come out of thin air. If you think of the memory zone as the sea, creating the land of the dreams is like filling that wild ocean with earth to make an island. Uh huh. To achieve this feat, Without the help of an emanator of remembrance or enigmata, the only way is to use a Stellaron. Hi, I'm one of those. Something you can achieve with a simple wish. It requires vast quantities of knowledge, time, and manpower. I'm sure you get what I'm hinting at. In Azdana, the planet of festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster. Uh, the planet of festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster? It all started a long time ago. Back when the Watchmaker and his crew liberated the Frontier Prison. They faced countless challenges as they began building Penacony from the ground up. That's when the idea of using the Stellaron came into play. The Stellaron first entered the Azdana system during the war. The Nameless warned everyone against folly of attempting to tamper with such a power and most heeded their words but there are always people in the shadows with ulterior motives the turning point came after Tiernan's death with two of the nameless gone the watchmaker had to go to the front line it was at that moment his rival saw an opportunity now i'm just confused by the time a representative from the montour system's family arrived Watchmaker's call. Gallagher. Stellaron had already been activated. Yes. Seeping into the primordial synesthesia dreamscape. Uh huh. And I suppose the family happened to possess the knowledge to seal the Stellaron? Not just that. They knew far more about the Stellaron than the average person. They helped Mikhail swiftly quell the civil unrest and played a part in building Penacony under the disguise of the Harmony. Those three eras were known as the Age of Dreaming. The Watchmaker, who had been left in the dark, sent out invitations across the universe, spreading the hype around the land of the dream. Then, how did they turn against each other? Yeah. Remember the island in the ocean metaphor? The truth is, the Stellaron was never truly sealed. It existed in a different form within the dreamscape. Think about this. What would it cost to create and maintain such a lavish dream? A Stellaron? It's people's lives. The opulent dream is built upon the decay of spirits, with a toxic elixir called pleasure flowing through the dreamscape. Mm -hmm. It tempts people to indulge in the dreamscape. Yeah, like a drug. Their minds succumb, becoming nourishment for the sweet dream. Confusion, laziness, and cowardice. Weaknesses that plague humanity were magnified and nourished by the family. Mm -hmm. Penacony became a new kind of prison, even more impenetrable than the previous one. It's addicting. Family, we realized this far too late. By then, the family had a firm grip on Penacony, swiftly quelling any opposition that arose. At my wit's end, I had to use the power of the Enigmata and sought refuge in this chaotic realm. Over the years, I created a meme within this dream. Sorry. I did not mean for you guys to hear my gulping. That's its real name. We exploited a loophole. You see, regular people can't fall asleep again while they are inside the dreamscape. So this is the true meaning of the impossible. You sent out invitations in the Watchmaker's name to find forces capable of resolving the Stellaron disaster and draw them into Penacony to uncover the truth. It's not just that. Above all, I wanted to see what happens when the major factions engage in a struggle for the legacy. Since this is the Watchmaker's first announcement in decades, the traitor within the family is bound to reveal themselves. So, the legacy is 
just a facade. The legacy. If you want to consider the Stellaron as the legacy, I'm totally fine with that. If that's the case, where is the Stellaron now? That's a question for Mr. Wing. The Stellaron is still under the family's control, and as the head of the Oak family, I'm sure he holds all the answers. Uh, okay i i know we're in ads right now but i do believe this is where we're going to leave off we're gonna get this that's only eight pulls so we will do another 10 pull whenever we next do honkai um it's already Friday. Tomorrow we have our Discord anime night. I might stream a bit more Honkai before then. We'll see. So there's that. I might stream some Honkai before Discord anime night, but it'll be earlier than my normal stream time because I normally start streaming at four. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah. Uh, we we will see. I I I don't have that scheduled, so I'm not I'm not sure. I will I will let the Discord know about any changes in the schedule, and you could even see it get updated on the stream schedule tab later tonight. Uh, stream stream is not ending. We're we're just gonna we're gonna change games. We're gonna change games. Let's go over here real quick. Let's go over here real quick. Let's get off the Honkai of the Star Rail. I, I'm I'm still trying to really figure out what is going on within the game. Because I feel like we're we're gonna be ganging up on like the watchmaker person or like the the person who who is like the the higher up i forget their names okay like the actual hierarchy of like the dreamscape and stuff we're gonna be teaming up on them and like murdering them but i don't know who what when or why how i feel like it's all like connected it's all coming together so yeah i don't i don't know but we are going to be moving over to AFK Journey. Don't worry, don't worry. We are still staying within the gotchas. We're still staying within the gotcha. Where is it? Oh. I keep forgetting I haven't put it in my game folder. And so I go to my game folder and it's not there. Now my Twitch is glitched again. I can't click anything now. I'm sorry. I just stream on the platform. <laughs> I, I can't exactly uh, fix things um, on the platform. That that I cannot do, so I'm, I'm sorry, Estafa. Lover. Um, also, a new patch came out today for AFK Journey. There's, there's a new banner. New banner. I am excited. It's updating at the moment because earlier today when I went to play it, I went on my phone. I didn't launch it on my computer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What's AFK Journey about? So I'm actually just now getting into the story of the game. I When it comes to games like this, I either heavily go into building my characters or I heavily go into playing the story. This game, I just went heavily into leveling up my characters because I thought it was fun and cool. But it's another gotcha game. If you like Honkai Star Rail, you like things like Genshin, you like the gotcha, you like the gamble, you'll love it specifically for the gamble aspect. It's a really pretty game. 
it looks like a storybook. Like if you were to take one of like the story fairy tale books you used to read as a kid that kind of had like that almost watercolory oil painting like prettiness to it and then turn it into like a actual like 3D game. That's exactly what it looks like. It's it's just it's it's beautiful. I really like the aesthetic because it's so different and separated from like anime. Okay, typically with with the games I've been seeing, it's either been like a form of like realistic looking like people or it's been like anime girls. And this is like not that it's it, it it's it's artistic. It does kind of have that anime ness to it, but it looks more like a fairy tale princess book type of thing like that you would read when you were young. And it's just it's really pretty. I honestly I suggest the game just about it being pretty. I'm such a visual person when it comes to games. Like, if, if a game's visually pleasing to me, I will love the game, even if, like, the story's shit. <laughs> I'm just one- I don't know. Uh, th this is- this is the new character. Uh. Super duper adorable. I love them. They're so cute. AFK Journey, you have no audio. <laughs> Why do you have no audio? Why do you have no audio? Excuse me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is my fault somehow. Okay, here, let's pause the music real quick. I don't remember what the audio level was, so now we just gotta... Now we just gotta test it out. <laughs> yeah, we can bring the music back though. Let's bring that down a smidge. Let's go to 35. I think it was already at 35. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Claim log, not that. Claim login things. Uh, but there, there is a story to the game. I'm just now getting into it. But basically, it's something along the lines of like you are some like all famous person that kind of disappeared for a while, and you're just kind of curing the world as you continue your journey with the friends you meet along the way. Uh, you also get to create, uh, what, what do you call it? Create? You get to create your little person. Uh, you can like fully, there's different outfits you can get for them. I feel like a lot of them you kind of just unlock as you play the game. Uh, you can actually... Like, customize what it looks like down to, like, the hair and, like, everything. Everything else. I don't know. I really, I really like it.
Yeah, I'm definitely dropping that the 30. That's just a little too loud for me. Oh, maybe I should get rid of the the Hawkeye Star Rail codes. go if anyone for some you know you you happen to be here you haven't tried this game out yet it's free it's awesome it's great really enjoyable uh the reason kind of as to why it's called afk journey sir thank you for the follow you are now a baby bat hello 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 We are sponsored, but this was a uh, this was a game I I was playing way before they even wanted to sponsor me. So I'm I'm actually really I'm I'm really like happy and grateful about that because I, I I like the game. I play this game in my own free time. It's it's kind of funny. Um. But the, the great thing about it is it does have that uh, gotcha gamble aspect to it that everyone loves. Um, it has a really good story. It's pretty much all voice acted. It's, it's fantastic. Um, you, you get to... actually get gear for your characters and stuff they make it super duper easy and like like to the process and understand um and you don't have to like fully dedicate your whole life to it like with other like gotcha games you you have to like log on every single day and play it for like four to eight hours every single day just to maybe maybe get the character you're going after and that's kind of annoying <laughs> that's like kind of annoying and the cool thing about this is it's in fact afk journey you can pretty much do everything that you want to do inactively Of course, you can actively play the game and you will progress faster. That's very true. Like, you can actively play, you know, like that. That is a option. But you could also still make really good progress just by logging on for 30 minutes to an hour every day. I fully understand that we all have very, very busy lives. And I can say that because i have a very very busy life i stream every single day and while yes i i could i could stream this game i feel like i have built up a a community of yes i am variety and yes sometimes i will throw games in that i kind of just want to play but Okay, um... You know, I, I, I'm really busy, and so being able to have a nice, pretty game that I enjoy playing, that I also don't have to fully dedicate my entire life to, it's, it's really good. It's, it's... It's been good to me, you know? This game has been very good to me since downloading it. Yeah, 
shield brothers And look at her! She's hot! How's the gotcha going, gamer? Well, I tried my luck on a different one and that didn't work. So now we're here. Well, victory is deserved. Which, speaking of... Do I have enough? Two, three, seven, eight. Oh, I do. Let's go. We're doing a ten pull. We're doing a ten pull. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. I got the new character. I know, I'm great. I did. I, I, first 10 pull. First 10 pull on Elsa. I got Elsa. Got an acorn. Well, let's see what else. And I... I <laughs> I got another Odie. Let's go, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, oh, and then I could do a 10 pull here too. Streamer luck? Maybe, maybe. Let's see, what do I get here? There's no way I get, yeah. I didn't think so. I didn't think I'd get another. Acorn, acorn. Cool, 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 cool. What's my four star? What is my four star? May flowers blossom across this land. Parisa. Hell yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is I feel like this game has amazing chances. You don't actually have to like kill yourself to get a character you want like you could just play the game and it just it feels so nice and cozy and welcoming it feels very welcoming like it makes me want to play it more just because i feel like oh yeah i i could do that more accessible may the lucent tree the new bloom is emerging It has it has bunny boys. The dark forest should be wilder territory, but it's swarming with light bearers everywhere. Oh, oops, I forgot. I forgot to do the here seem like they've been wallowing in the mud. All grubby and upset. Oh, hear me, don't cry. Since you have a ship, it's best to depart from here. If there's space on your ship, kindly consider taking these refugees too. 
refugees. Listen up, Corin, my friend. Regardless of your identities and origins, this place doesn't seem fit for camping. It's pretty damp and cold by the river. You should take everyone Look at the bunny boy. And let my people take good care of them. Those it takes a bit to download it. No, it's okay. Wilders. You bet I am. Thanks to my ears, I was able to hear them say your name. You lot issued an exclusion edict and are forcing refugees to leave the dark forest. I haven't had a chance to sort things out with you. If anyone is interested in playing at any time, you could do exclamation mark AFK journey. Um, or even just click on the pinned message in the chat. I have a personal download link. It helps me out a ton. I even give you guys a promo code you can use once you get in the game. Um, and all of the goals are on that little banner over there, as well as in our Discord server. If you would like to see, you know, some goals you can do and help me out. It really does help out stream and help me out as like a person. And, uh, you know, it helps... It helps me find like stream upgrades and like eat food. <laughs> Look at the weak and elderly. Is this the Wilder's way of welcoming guests? What happened to your once peaceful and benevolent demeanor? Hold on, hold on. What exclusion edict? Enough talk. I'm taking them into the forest no matter what it takes. We fightin'. We fighting. Come out, my servant, and fight for me. A great victory. The glory of which belongs to each and every warrior. Mm, ouch. My arm. You're injured? That shouldn't be. My blade hasn't even touched you. <laughs> oh my! You're hurt! How about listening first before diving into action? Hmm. A sword wielder. Two talking hamsters. And you? Who are you all, really? Uh, we're from this other place and we came to help. do about the exclusion edict? Even if that bunny-eared boy gets in, the Wilders will still drive you guys out. I could tell you who I am, but that would ruin the surprise. Wilders, just like us. Mr. Corn, we were invited to come down from Hollistone to help with some small problems in the forest. If I still can't gain your trust, here's my heroic order emblem. And as for these few... This is very blushy, and our hamster familiars. You don't have to tell me. I learned that a moment ago. <laughs> now that you've introduced yourselves, here's the story. These refugees from the Remnant Peaks had their village attacked by golems. They've come to the Dark Forest seeking help. I'm they here to help. Help from Hollistone, but something odd occurred there, and their pleas went unanswered. Forced to flee, they've ended up here. Well, talk about coincidence. We happen to be the ones involved in the Hollowstone incidents. What? You... Not in a bad way, we helped! These refugees have faced hardships on their journey, with many being elderly or disabled. Now, with the ships to and from the Dark Forest widely suspended, they can't leave immediately. You just arrived here from Hollowstone. I understand that you may not be familiar with the forced expulsion of refugees. Sorry for my impulsive behavior earlier. A very what is the exclusion order. edict? Non-wilders are strictly forbidden from entering the forest. Those who enter and stay are promptly expelled without question. Unbelievable! The dark forest has always been a welcoming place for friends from afar. Particularly around the docks where there are camps for traders and travelers. You are half right. Those camps have indeed been a lifesaver, sparing the refugees from rough nights after a long journey. But the exclusion edict is also true. I, I, I couldn't understand. read it. It was too fast. Why are my people blaming the humans for the corruption? I wanted to lurk for my wifey. Something seems off. How about we have Lorson lead us to the forest and see for ourselves? Just standing around won't help. 
Let's go investigate further into the corruption and the exclusion edict. Let me lead the way. I need to know what's the deal with this exclusion edict. Yeah. Okay. Up, 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 up. Let's see. Uh, let's just see. I know I want Rowan on my team. May the lucent tree bestow its blessings upon all. You're hot. Let's spar and see who's the better warrior. Shield, brother. All right. Okay, uh, let's put you instead. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run that for now. Like, that's better. Oh, this is another great thing. Uh, you can, you can auto-path. You can auto-path to places and things and stuff. You're not even worth getting up for. For the god of war. I come to protect. You're not well, potions for sale. Buy four, get one free. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. I love Rowan. Come out, my servant, and fight for me. I love this game. <laughs> I love free games that are pretty and fun. It's great. Mail. Oops. Mr. Corin, are there any ships at the dock? No, there are only a few half-dilapidated ships. I met a wilder who's willing to help. So maybe with his support, I can go into the forest and talk things over with the person in charge. Once the edict is lifted, you'll be free to enter the forest and recuperate. Is little Jonathan's fever down? Oh, He's not Jonathan. Out, all thanks to the herbs you found. Since there's still hope of getting into the forest, I will stay here a little longer and do my best to take care of everyone. Miss... I noticed there are still quite a few elderly people and kids in the tents. Are only a few of you taking care of this big camp? When the golems attacked our village, the men insisted on having the elderly and children evacuate first, so... Well... The mothers came along. We need someone to stay here and ensure their safety. Considering their shortage of supplies and manpower, leaving them here could put them in danger. Whether it's lifting the exclusion edict or removing the corruption, there's no time to lose. I will stay here. Mr. Corrin, Lorson, and you, please head to the forest first. Sorry. Wow, how chivalrous. For the sake of protecting <laughs> these poor folks. The heroic order truly lives up to the ideals of justice and bravery. Balin, 
I'm counting on you to protect Clementine and the rest. Don't worry. Anyone who dares lay a finger on her shall face my spear first. Good. We must protect. Oh, duh, because the other, duh. Experience is the best teacher. It's a good thing that Valen stayed behind. These Gruglins could have posed threats to the refugees. During my patrol earlier, I noticed that the Gruglins around here are more violent than usual. Gruglins going crazy for no apparent reason. And strange crops absorbing leyline magic. This is just like what happened in Hollowstone. Nonsense. Why Corruption be between them. Perhaps the Wilders only imposed the exclusion edict to protect us from the Gruglins in this area. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I suppose that's too good of an explanation. The Gruglins in the forest weren't this aggressive before I left. Could it be that grapes from Ryan have grown around here too? The grapes. I can't wrap my head around this. Do you have any clues? Where are the corrupted areas you mentioned right. earlier? I remember this one nearby. Apart from here, corruption is also spreading in the depths of the forest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's called corruption because it affects plants, making them look like they've decayed. Clearing out the decayed parts won't prevent them from regenerating, much like the grapes near Ryan. Got it. Corruption. Words may not suffice. Come with me and I'll show you. I wanted to go. Let's go. I am here to fix it. Oh. This chaotic and oppressive magic feels quite similar to what I sensed in Southville. But it's much stronger. And more ominous. Don't worry, I'm great. Um, I'm not feeling well. Chippy. Tammy, are you okay? Hammy, don't try and sense the magic here. What just happened to Hammy? The corruption is too strong here. It's influencing Hammy. You got this, Hammy. You're too cute. Hey, let me take care of little Miss Hamster. You find a way to tackle that corruption. Hmm. How did something this harmful end up growing in the dark forest? Can you clear out these corrupted roots using the method that worked for the vineyard? I'm counting on you. Besides you, I can't imagine anyone else or any other way to completely eradicate them. Yeah, do your best. I'll give it a shot. Don't look so upset. I'm pretty. I'm pretty great at what I do. See, I'm pretty great at what I do. Magister, thank Brian. you for the corruption. B Brian? Brian, sorry, Brian. Who's this? He's Brian, a wind whisperer just like me. It's been a while. What brings you here? Lawson, my lord. Your return was accompanied by incessant clamor. I like I you, Brian. This proved notably intricate. Stop, stop. You are the best at saying words. Listen, it's Brian. Huh? His status remains a mystery to all of you. Status? Is Master Arden's student, and among the younger generation of the Wind Whisperers, he stands out as the most exceptional. 
Master Arden student. In the dark forest, the dusk patrollers, wind whisperers, and thorn guards symbolize heritage, perception, and protection, respectively. I like you. You're so sage, and unitedly they rule. Master Arden is a representative of the wind faction, with Lawson acclaimed as one of his stellar apprentices, specifically renowned for his mastery in wind whisper. Mastery. Hey, you make it sound like I'm bad at other things. Of course not. Apart from running out of the forest seeking aid, neglecting daily tasks of the whisper web, you are flawless. Whoa, Lorson is a big deal. Ah, don't call me that. Let's just get down to business already. Hey, Brown, meet my friend. She's the great ma magister I brought back from Hollowstone. I've heard. Are you aware that the corrupted roots require regular uprooting, or else they'll regenerate? Normally, it takes several weeks for the corrupted roots to regrow after removal. Yet, presently, they manage to reach the current state in a matter of days. The corruption has gotten even worse? As you've seen, she does have the power to eliminate them. We need to observe further and find the root as cause. As you see it that way, as a wind whisperer, my duty lies in the delivery of messages. Hence, could I implore you to visit the station of the Dusk Patrollers? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Lyka, who is in charge of eradicating these corrupting roots, could significantly mm -hmm. improve the effectiveness of information sharing. Yes. Lyka? What is it, Lorison? It's nothing. Mr. Corrin, you seem like you require some help, too. The wind brings the cries of distant refugees. Huh. Took you some time to remember the plight of the refugees, huh? You lot are a far cry from the wilders I've ever met. Well, Please, quell your anger. The exclusion edict was issued by Master Eomir. You stay so calm. I'm merely carrying out the order. Like, I, so put together. Possess no influence to contest their determinations. Captain Lyka will articulate the particulars. Come with me, if you will. We... Hold on, I have more things to collect. Ooh. Oh, wait, yeah, no, it's fine. This is the team I wanted. I'm doing some of the AFK grind stuffs. Come out, my servant, and fight for me. I like having more rewards. Everyone's doing great. Um Can I oh I I could have just done it in that menu. Is there anyone here I can level up? And see not yet that is a okay as well we're going to run this as many times as we can until i fail and then i'm going to do the daily uh the the fight the the boss fight the thingy my body and also get some rewards. I like rewards. Everyone's doing great. And 
We go again. We go again. Uh, I want to claim this. Claim this. Um, hold on. Still nothing? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get close. The exploration team. They'll come back soon, right? Shield brothers. I can't believe I got Elsa. Shield. May the loose don't want. Oh, good morning. Well, a little may the glorious rippling flames bl oh. both techniques and tactics. Who's there? The general has asked. Oh. <gasps> Fire! A here stands the Ooh, phew. Uh. I could just oh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I think I just keep running the team I have. I think. I think I have a pretty decent little team at the moment. Oh yeah. I wanted to keep running this. I love her. Not my Flora Bell. Well, victory is deserved. fine we, we yeah we win this we win this i might not have my brutus but we win this hell yeah everyone's doing great Rowan pop off. Rowan carries. We're great. Victory is deserved. We're great. We're amazing. We just we 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 keep running it. Though I only have so much more of this in me. And then I'm gonna go over to, uh... The boss battle guy. 
You know, the boss battle guy. <laughs> Uh, and then we got ASMR tonight as well, to all the ASMR enjoyers. We got ASMR tonight. Well, You're welcome. Victory is deserved. Wow. Oh! Kiros! Kiros, I have a question. Um, you, you seem to kind of know. Hold on, this is You seem to kind of know what you're on about when it comes to, like, audio levels and ASMR and stuff like that. Um, even, even if there's, like, a specific, like, tingle and, like, trigger that isn't necessarily your thing, you know, like, we all have our own, you know, triggers. But you can still, like, hear it and be like, yeah, that's still good. It's just not my thing. Uh, I'm currently working on editing the new ASMR. Well, not currently. I'm currently, I'm streaming. But you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm editing the new ASMR. Um, with the, the settings and stuffs like that. Um, for the Patreon. Patreon. Um... And I was just wondering that if maybe, uh, when, when I'm done editing a section of that, um, like a part, I could, uh, send it over to you for you to kind of browse through and watch and see how shitty it is <laughs> or good and kind of, you know, go from there. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Battle modes. Yes, dream realm. We're gonna we're gonna just run this like crazy. Potions for sale. Not that though. I come to protect you. Well, potions for sale. Buy four, get one free. Yeah, no, it, it it would only be like the the one time. Um just so I can get like a overall opinion on um the the editing itself. Not not the not the stream, but the editing. And if there are just certain triggers that just don't sound good um at all. Or just don't, you know, like, just don't work out well. Like, I can stop doing them on stream. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got it. Let's go. Now we're gonna try to do this. Run it, same way, same way as before. OMG, do we do it? Yeah, I, I'm I'm still on a USB microphone. I, I use the this same microphone I'm using now. I I use um I do I I can't get rid of my PC. 
I'm surprised. Yeah, no, I, I'm using I'm using my USB microphone. I really I really want to upgrade and improve my microphone uh, and my my microphone settings. That's why actually on on my throne, um, if you were to check out you know my wish list, my throne, I actually have two microphones on there. I already have the mixer like the mix amp uh, for it, um, uh, but I, I have t I have two. XLR microphones um, on on my throne wish list. Uh, the Shure SM7B is to upgrade my normal stream mic, like the one I would be using now. And then I have the 3DIO, which would be for ASMR. <laughs> Um, I've, I've had to do a lot and a, a lot of work and, uh, I, I, I can't have any type of fans on in my room while doing ASMR, but I've, I've done all that I really could to get the audio as clear and nice sounding as possible for my ASMR streams. But there's only so much you can do with the microphone and the room and everything else to get the audio to sound, you know, better. I, I, I've done everything in my power to get it to sound good and right and everything for you guys. But the, the only up from now is um, improving the actual mic. That is, that is quite literally the only thing I can do from now on to improve the uh, overall clarity and crispness of the microphones that I use for a stream. Um, one thing, one thing that I will say is, um, the, the money that I get from my Patreon, um, it, it, it's, it's a low amount, so it, you know, it, it, it can only help so much on a monthly basis, but all of the money from my Patreon, um, goes towards, uh, helping me get those upgrades, because my Patreon, other than the tip jar aspect of the Patreon tier, where you don't really get anything, it's just two dollars a month, and it you know it it just helps me out. Um, every other tier is ASMR related, so all of the money I get from that goes to helping fund the the three DIO on my own part. I actually I I still don't have a Patreon command. I'm I'm throwing actually. <laughs> but it is it is in my socials link there if you are interested in in my Patreon. Every day I sit down and focus and work on editing ASMR for you guys and uploading it to the Patreon. There's only two videos now and it has my old microphone settings, but from now on going forward, I will be um, upload editing and uploading the, the new ASMR uh, settings and stuff that I, I think just sound better. Um, both aren't bad, I just think the new one sounds better, so I want to focus on releasing that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> There's also tons of other ways, you know, like partaking in our sponsorship, uh, by, by downloading AFK Journey using my link pinned in the chat or using the command, uh, and, and just completing some of the goals. It really does help, um, you know, get get stream upgrades and stuff for you guys. Uh, I don't actually put a lot or any of the money I get from anything to myself, really. I live off of ramen and pizza rolls. Um, <laughs> and water. 
god. I, I have a college kid diet because I want a lot of, or pretty much as much of my funds as possible to go towards improving stream for you guys because you guys are my everything. I want you guys to have the best possible experience here. So even just by doing the free things, you know, following and feeding cats. Yeah, I, I, I do prioritize getting like food and, and treats and stuff for my, my cats. And I, I, I love to get them new toys. Um, that's actually one thing I am going to be doing uh, when when I move is I'm going to be adding stuff for my cats on my throne. So um, for example, there there's this like coffin, very goth looking like cat scratching post. It has like a coffin bed on it and stuff, and like like little hanging bat toys. <laughs> Um, it's pretty expensive, as all things are for animals, because let's be honest, we don't deserve them. <laughs> we just do not deserve the happiness animals bring us. We don't deserve them. They're too good. But, um, it's really expensive. I cannot fund it myself. I really want to get it for my, my, my baby, my sleep paralysis demon Luna. I really do. Um, and after, after I do the move, I'm going to start adding things more... Uh, based around that, um, for example, the the scratching post for Luna. I'm probably gonna add some like catnip toys and and stuff like that as well. And you know, it, it helps me out. My cat will like it. I you you guys have always wanted to get stuff for my cat, so I, I figured um, after the move would be a a great time to do that. <laughs> well, um. And then I'm also probably going to put other things up on the wish list as well, like soundproofing panels and stuff to uh, better soundproof like my room and like to put up on the walls and to just improve the audio quality more. Um, visuals are one thing, yes, but let's be honest, audio quality tops it. My, I, I, I could have the worst ever overlay on my stream, but as long as I sound good, you know. Are you moving to a bigger space or smaller? Bigger. I, I'm going to have a bigger room. It's actually going to have AC, so I don't have to have 10 fans on me at once. Um, because the AC in my room does not work. So that's a plus. I'm, I'm going to be getting AC. Don't worry. Your delivery's coming up. The only issue is I kind of have to fork out more money. Which is good, in a way. You know, you, you pay for what you get. But it's bad, because I don't make that much from streaming. So, it's really tricky. Uh, I really want to get on the grind and, and really treat this as, as if it's my full-time job. Because it is. And, uh, you know, prove to you guys that, you know, getting a sub is, is worth it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stream more and I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to make this my job, you know, I'm, I'm going to make it work. I, 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 I refuse to do this big move and not have streaming be able to be my actual full-time job. I just, I don't want to accept that. So. Any and all support from the sponsorships, because guaranteed after the move, I, I'm going to be picking up more sponsorships. I, I, I really want this move to work. I'm really going to stick to the one to two sponsorships a month. I don't ever want to, uh, push anything I don't like or don't believe in towards you guys. So there's that as well. But I, 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 th this, this is my dream and, and, and we're so close. I, I, I would say consistently we're always halfway there, you know, but, uh, 440 subs a month consistently. That is all I need. Just 440 subs. Gifted or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's just that's just how much I need. 
and we can we can make it work that or less but m more support on the sponsorships but I'm, I'm i'm determined i'm stubborn i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna be here for you guys i'm gonna be here for you guys regardless you know you guys you guys are my baby bats i can't i can't just stop I can't just stop now. Oh yeah, fuck ads. Fuck ads. God damn it. <laughs> Not the ads. You can't do that, Jakey. Barry, if you need to take care of yourself, do it. Fucking ads. I know. See, this is why you guys should get a sub. You get a fucking sub. You get ad-free viewing. Bro, eight years, it's three minutes. It is a three-minute ad. Jakey, you have a sub. Why are you complaining? Bum 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 bum. True. <laughs> True. Listen here, I'm doing these eight hour streams making like $4 an hour. <laughs> it's rough out here. The minimum wage is like 12. <laughs> the minimum wage is like $12 an hour. <laughs> or like what, 15? I don't know. I've been streaming for a year and a half. I don't know. <laughs> I think it changes on the state. I think it's different for every state still. Just stream 24-7 to make up for it. Wishy-washy. That doesn't help. <laughs> it actually... Streaming longer actually... Somehow, statistically, drops my numbers. Actually. But as long as you guys believe in me, I I will stick to it. We will we will do it. And it'll work. It'll work, guys. It'll work. I just hope it works sooner than later, you know? I don't even believe in myself, damn. Wish wishy washy. I don't want to stop streaming. You know, it's my dream. I don't I don't ever want to quit. I don't want to graduate as some might say. You know, I'm 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 here for good. I'm here for good, guys. I'm not going anywhere. I just I just need some support. Even the free support is good support. Following me on Twitch and on Twitter and my YouTube channels, mainly the main YouTube channel where I actually post content, but you could also check out the uh the vod one as well ow okay ow ow my wishy-washy thank you for the tier one sub that's your first month welcome on in welcome on in now you get ad reviewing and cute emotes to use across all of twitch not even just here and if you join the discord server uh, there, there's a lot of people in the Discord server, so it's hard to keep up with. But if you're in the Discord server and you connect your Discord and, like, Twitch accounts, you also will get special roles there. And that, that that's neat. That's cool. But, guys, if you haven't followed me yet, now is the perfect time to do so, okay? I'm going to end stream, grab a quick little nibble, because I have ASMR coming up in less than an hour. I have, like, 30 minutes to eat and get things set up. But, uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna do ASMR. We're gonna go do ASMR for about four hours. So if you're into ASMR, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. If you're not, that's okay. I will still be here tomorrow. I'm going to stream a little bit of Honkai Star Rail tomorrow, uh, before Discord Anime Night, and then we have Discord Anime Night, and then I'm gonna have more ASMR at night. I do ASMR every night. 
uh, for you guys. And then I play games in the day. I play games in the day and I do ASMR at night. Either way, you get equal. You get equal time with me regardless. So I'm not, I'm not favoring one or the other. But follow me. It's free. It helps me out. I'm trying to get the 3.5k. That would be really awesome if we can do that this week. I don't think we will. Because we are not at that. We, we are at 3,433. And to get that by Sunday is asking a lot. But, you know, follow me. It's free. It helps me out a ton. I stream every... I've streamed every single day this week. So, I love you guys. <laughs> Join my Discord server through that... See, Streamlabs gets it. Join my Discord server through that link there. You can get notified for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that good stuff, as well as our two weekly community events. Every Thursday, we get together and play a community game. Often it is Overwatch. I'm trying to also do Fortnite and kind of get that figured out and set up as well, since I do have a Fortnite creator code you guys can use in the shop. You know, just, just saying it helps me out for all the Fortnite enjoyers. Um, and every Saturday we get together and watch a anime. I pick out three anime and then you guys vote on said anime. Okay. And then we get together and then we watch that anime until it is done. And then we do it all again. It's all anime I want to watch. Yeah, that's true. It's all anime I want to watch. But we are currently watching The Eminence and Shadow Season 2. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be watching episodes 5 through 8. So get caught up if you're not already and, you know, join. We're not doing One Piece, guys. <laughs> We're never doing One Piece. Come on, we keep it to, we we keep it to, to short short series. <laughs> that that that's one thing we do is we 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 keep it we keep it short. Check out all of my socials, please, through that link there. Go go check out all of my socials. That has my Patreon, my Twitter, my TikTok, my YouTube. I post actual content on my YouTube. I swear, like actual gameplay YouTube content. You should check it out. It's great. It's awesome. It's cool. I think it's really nice, really funny. I think it's really nice, really funny. I want to give a ton of love and support to my friend Mei Mei, Kyrena. Uh, she is having a birthday donothon right now, so I would love to send you guys over and just give her some support, even if you're not going to, you know, donate anything. Just, just be there. Give her the support. Follow. She's the whole reason I became a streamer in the first place. She's playing Sea of Thieves. But if you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you being here, chatting, following, lurking, it means super duper so much to me. Um, I really am a small streamer, so you just being here helps me out a ton. It really does. Checking out all of my other social, like, platforms is great, too. Uh, if you would like to support me further, you could use your sub, or you could sub or use your free Amazon Prime sub on Lil Ol' Me, okay? You get ad-free viewing, so tons of super-duper cute emotes to use across all of Twitch, and as before, you get special roles in the Discord server. I know it's not the best, but it is something. It helps me out a ton. There's also my ASMR Patreon you can subscribe to. Uh, check out AFK Journey. Check out AFK Journey uh, through here. Here. It's pinned in chat, but here. There. It's free. It's awesome. It's cool. I really do like the game. If you love gotcha, if you love the gamble, there you go. It really does help me out a ton. Uh, I think you'll have fun with it. Complete some goals. Download it through my link. I give you guys a, a, a promo code to use in game too. So check it out, please. Check it out, please. It's a really good game. It would help me out so much. But you could also donate to me through that link there. All of that money goes directly towards me. It helps me fund things, you know, like stream upgrades and helps fund me as a streamer. Sometimes it helps me eat food, I swear. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> you could also check out my wish list and more directly choose where you want the money to go, whether it be the new model or the microphone upgrades or a game for me to play on stream or whatever it is. It helps me out so much more than you would ever believe. This is my full-time job. I have no other source of income. So it really does help me out, uh, but it is never at all required. Uh, I will I will get those things with time on my own, but it helps me out. It really does. But I appreciate you all being here today. Here is the raid message for those of you who are awake and alive. Go give Kyrena tons of love and support, and I will see you guys in about 30 minutes. Mwah. Love you all. <laughs> if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night or day or whatever it may be, okay? Mwah.